Is that you? David, since when did you start locking your room door? My niece on privacy. I'm 16 now. My friend, come and open this door. Mom. David, if you don't come and open this door now, you will get what is coming. Whatever it is, I'm here for you. I know something is wrong. Since you turned 16, you've not been the same, David. Please, what is it? Oh, look at the time, it's almost 7 o'clock. I have to start getting ready. You know I'm here for you, right? Please, don't push me away. I hear you, mom. I'll get ready. wrong with you? Why are you bothering me? Haven't I told you to stop waking me up? But if I don't wake you up, Madame will not be happy with me. Get out of my room now. Hey, I'm trying to sleep. My class is not until 8 a.m. So why are you waking me up now? It's 7 o'clock now and you know that you take time to dress up. Are you saying I'm slow? Do you want to get fired? No, small Madame. Please get ready. I don't want Madame to be upset with me. Get out, Doris. I said go. Your exam? In, in three months, sir. And you're playing video games? You think I wouldn't know? Sorry, sir. Sorry for what exactly? For deciding to waste away your life? Or for choosing to be a big disappointment to me? Good thing there's no more class for you to repeat. Get ready for school. Who is it? It's me, ma. You who? Doris, ma. Better. Better, Doris. Do come in. How many times do I have to teach you and for how long that when you're asked to introduce yourself that you do it properly? I'm sorry, ma. Good morning, Ma. Uh, is there something you need, Doris? I came to tell you that breakfast is ready and I've finished batting Junior. Good. How about Amaka? She's not awake, Ma. And you have the guts to stand there and tell me that. My friend, will you go and do what I pay you to do? Go and wake her up in this instant. You want her to be late for classes? I tried to wake her Shut up. Shut up! Zip it! Not one word out of you. Go and do what you paid to do. 
I'm sorry, Ma. Sorry for your lousy self. Foolish girl. Get out of my room this instant. Foolish girl. Darling, yeah? you really need to calm down. I mean, that girl does a lot in the house. She's trying. I hear you, but she should try harder. We all have our different jobs to do, and if we do not perform it well, our lifestyle will suffer. So, she should work harder. She should do what she's paid to do, what we pay her to do. I know. But have you considered that her job description might be overwhelming for her? But perhaps we should just try and help her out in, 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 from time to time. I mean, it won't cost you anything. It won't cost you anything if you help Amaka to wake up early, prepare her for school. I mean, she will listen to you more because you are her mother. More than she does Doris. I should go and help out Doris so that I will be late for work. Festus, are you listening to the words coming out of your mouth this morning? Anyway, thank you very much for your suggestion, but I'll pass. Okay, fine, fine, fine. If that doesn't go down well with you, how about maybe you have to talk to um, a you know? Talk already! Enough! Enough with the suggestions, Festus. Did Doris write you a memo that she's incapable of doing her job? You know, I do not want to fight this morning. If you want to help Doris, you can go and help her all you want. Better still, I have a very productive counter suggestion. Why don't you go into work, put in a resignation, come home and sit down and help Doris all you want. Sorry, don't be angry. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Malaka, why is it that you didn't wake up on time as you should? I was very tired, Dad. I slept really late last night. Mm. Doing what, if I may ask? Let's just let the girl eat. Hmm? She has a long day ahead at school. Look, from now on, you must make an effort. Doris shouldn't even be waking you up to prepare you for school. You're almost 16, for God's sake. Leave God's name out of this now. It's uncalled for. Amaka, did you hear what I said? Yes, Dad, I do. I hear you. Good. See these extension classes that you're attending? Hmm? It will help prepare you for your SSC exams. And it is very, very crucial to your successful transition into the university. So you must take it very seriously. Please, I beg you, please. Yes, Dad, I will. Can we now eat in peace? Please. Eat in peace, oh. You never let her eat now. Every time she's at this dining table, you carry on. I don't see any problem with that. David, what is the matter? Enter the car and let's go. But mom, why must we always use this car? Because that's all we have. But other people have nicer cars, big jeeps. Those are other people. This is us. 
Enter the car, let's go before we both run late. Why can't you just be like other cool moms who drive good cars to school every day? Some even change cars often. David, I cannot be like other people. Because all fingers are not equal. I am uniquely me and they are uniquely them. So you always say mom, so you always say. And I say again, enter the car, let's go. You must not even attend these uh, extension classes. I mean, I'm tired though, I can stay at home and read. David, you can't be tired. You failed the last exam, and that's why you must attend this extension class. Why must you drive this car every day? David, I must drive it every day because that is what I have. That's all we have. Now get in, let's go. Uh, why can't we take a taxi? <sighs> David, is it that you don't want to attend the extension classes or you don't want to enter the car? Which one? Both. Will you enter this car before I come there and give you a dirty slap? Now enter the car! You are still there. Enter the car, David! What happened? What? This girl. Why are you so angry? Somebody cannot talk to you again. You, why can't you just mind your business? Hmm. Sorry, yo. This one you came back inside the house. Hope there is no problem. Or did you forget something? No. So why are you back in the house? Just can you like mind your business and stop with all the questions? Is that what you're here for? Amaka! It is very rude of you to walk out on me. I'm your senior. Forget the fact that I'm a maid in your father's house. Why have you returned? Did you forget something? Again, no, I did not forget anything. So why are you back in the house? To take something. To take what? And again I say, it is none of your business. Go back and continue with your chores. Ah! in this house. Try staying there, will you? Are you trying to talk your way out of the fact that I caught you stealing from your parents? And if you don't take care, this will be on you. First, you will explain to mommy why you entered her room after severally warning you not to in her absence. Stay in your place and we will be fine. Hmm. Sorry, small madam. Come and be going so that you will not run late for your classes. Have a nice day. You too. Have a nice day. Hey! I don't enter. Stop here, mother. Why? I'll walk from here on. And I ask you why, David? Your school gate is still further down. Mom, please just go. You have embarrassed me enough. David! How dare you speak to me in that manner? Have you lost your mind? Eh? And what do you mean when you say I've embarrassed you? Mother, but I speak the truth. You just want me to be proud of this. Just look at what others are driving. And you, you can't do anything about this. I, this... I, I, come, come, come back here. And me, I cannot do anything about what? 
Hey, David. Hey, me. The poor woman who cannot do anything about driving a rickety car. David, tell me. Are you now ashamed of your mother? Are you? Mom, please just go. I should just go. I should just go, David. David, my dear son, please do not let the things you see around you cause you to be greedy or envious. Please don't. Because you will not get out unharmed, David. David, all I have, I've given to you. My time, my all, my possessions. Possessions? Every... What possessions? You don't make me laugh, mother. One more word from you, David. And I will beat you very well in front of the whole class. Sorry, mother. S -s Sorry, mother. Sorry. Now get in! And I will drop you in front of the school. And you cannot do anything about it. My friend, talk in your shirt. Talk your shirt very well. Who know what has come over you? Eh? What's wrong with you? What's, what is, what, what's your problem? Eh? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please come on in. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. We have a whole lot to cover today. Good morning. 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 Alright, good morning. Alright, um, let's settle down quickly. Okay, good morning to you all. Welcome to your first day of extension classes. We know we are here today because many of you didn't do very well in mathematics and sciences. So, we'll be looking at the following topics in mathematics. Trigonometry, bearing, indices and logarithm, Pythagoras theorem, quadratic equations, and transformation. And for your science topics, it's a combination of biology and chemistry. Under biology, we'll be looking at body systems. And what's this system are we talking about? Um, we'll talk about digestive system, respiratory system, reproductive system, and what the central nervous system. And for chemistry, we'll be looking at the particulate theory of matter, elements, mixtures, and compounds. And the last topic is reactivity series. Any question? Okay, good. Sorry, this was not necessary. Just annoying me. I'm so excited. It's crazy. I'm so crazy. Like, how can you be so careless? You expect us not to talk because that was really stupid. It's actually worse. I'll repost it all. Repost it now. I will tag you. I will like it. Hi. Hello. Hi. Why are you late, Amaka? How dare you keep us waiting? <laughs> Is this how you want to become a part of the clique? Or have you forgotten how desperately you beg to become one of us? <laughs> Clearly she has forgotten. No, I have not. I promise you. Are you sure? Well, let me refresh your memory, just in case. You always favor yourself because you're so fine. I'm fine now. I'm fine. <laughs> Hi, Kendra. Hi, all. My, my name is Amaka. I'm one of your admirers. Well, thank you, Amaka. But you'll have to excuse us. As you can see, we're busy. Please, if you don't mind, I would like to be your friend. <laughs> Why? I have always admired you from far since I came into the school three years ago. But I couldn't sum up the courage to face you because you were one year ahead of me. And now that we're in the same class, you feel that automatically 
We are mates now, right? Oh, no, no, not so. I, I just like your ways. What ways? You and your clique are inseparable. You're really great friends, and I like that. I follow you on Instagram and Snapchat, and I see all your posts and updates. The way you are, how you dress and carry yourself, just makes me want to be a part of you. Well, well, well. It will cost you a whole lot of money. You see, every single one of us here come from great and wealthy families. We don't deal with nobodies. Trust me, I am not a nobody. My parents are rich. My father is a renowned barrister representing top government officials. And my mom, she's a successful businesswoman. True, I can actually attest to that. See, they drop her off in different states of the art cars. So, she's right. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Anyway, you will have to raise the sum of 200,000 Naira to join our group. 200,000? <laughs> Where will I get that from? <laughs> My parents only give me 5,000 Naira every day for snacks. And even if I save that for the rest of the term, it will only make like, I don't know. Um, okay, we have 18 days left. What's 5,000 times 18? Well, whatever it is, it is definitely not up to 200,000 Naira. So what do I do? I really want to be a part of your clique. Hmm. Will you be attending the extension classes? I don't know yet. It is compulsory for all bottom class year 6 students. So except if you are an A student, use the rest of the month to figure out a strategy on how to raise that amount. And see us on the first day of the extension classes at our usual hangout, as you would have observed. Come right after the first class and make the payment. Okay, okay, I will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me leave you to your pictures. So, after everything, after all your nice speech that day, you still keep all of us waiting. Like, seriously? I'm sorry. I was distracted for a bit by a boy. Would have been here sooner. Distracted by a boy. A boy. <laughs> oh my god. Is he being a bother to you? Say his name. I'll have him dealt with. Never mind. He's of no importance. He's just another boy who fancies me. Now tell me, are his folks rich? No, not remotely near. What? So why spare him a minute of your time? I have told him of severally. Wow. You better. You see, in our clique. We don't get seen with poppers. No, no, All our friends and extensions are the wealthy and famous. Mm -hmm. I get you. Where is the money I asked you to bring? Yeah. Here. Yeah. How much is this? 85,000. 85,000 85, from 200. <laughs> what would that do for our team? Look. I'm trying to bring you into the clique and you have to prove that you have what it takes to join us. Yes. I said 200,000. 200. I'm sorry. I got all I could lay my hands on. My folks have stopped keeping large amounts at home. Get the balance or get going. Okay, I will. I promise. I'll come up with something. Give me some days. Okay. Ready when you are. Okay, bye. Yeah. Like I was saying, <coughs> I'm going to repost the picture. Please repost it. I will. And that girl's cool. <laughs> I will tag you. Listen, <laughs> David. <laughs> David, what's up? Leave me alone, Obi. Go away. 
You just disappeared after math class. What happened? What's wrong? I want to be left alone for now. Why? Go away, Obi. Now. Please. David, you're my guy. I can't leave you alone. Okay, we won't go. I'll go. Hey, Amaka. Hey, David. Oh. Amaka, you answered my greeting. I'm so happy. Happy about what? You finally answered my greeting. I'm so glad you did. Yeah, I'm glad for you too. So, can we be friends now? No, we can't. Why? You really want to know? Sure, tell me. <laughs> well, I don't make friends with poor people. What? How do you know I'm poor? It goes without saying, brother. And is that why you snub me all the time? And I will do worse if you don't step up your game before coming into my space. See. Hey. I told you I wanted to be left alone. So she can insult you? What's wrong with you, David? Why are you allowing that girl to belittle you anyhow? There's nothing to belittle. She's high up there and I'm way down low. Only in your mind do you see yourself as little, David. We are all created equally. And a person's financial status doesn't determine if that person is better than another person. You say that because you are well off. Who says? I do what I have to do to get through school every day. But it doesn't stop me from saying the truth. Tell that to the dogs, not me. Money is clearly everything around here. And I'll make it by hook or crook. I'm tired of being talked down on. David, you're dying for a girl who doesn't even have a dime to her name. It's all her parents. Why don't you find someone who is intelligent? Someone who is hardworking? Someone who has substance? So the both of you can grow together. Instead, you're killing yourself over a girl who doesn't even have a dime to her name. The only thing she has is a very bad attitude. And she wants to be rich guys like me. <laughs> I bet she won't give you the same attitude if I ask her. Out. Peace off, Bobby. Peace <laughs> off. <laughs> Good morning. We're just about to say something. What do you guys want? <laughs> Repeater is talking to you. Adi, answer him. Say what? He can't be talking to me. Nadu may be talking to you. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not me. Oh yeah, repeat yourself. <laughs> good one, bro, good one. I know, right? I just thought about it. Repeater. Repeat yourself. Uh, uh, do you have my phone? Uh huh. And so what? What do you want to do about it? Huh? Look at him. I did nee, 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 my friend. Say, look at him. This phone. Take it. Take it. Take, Repeat, your, take phone. your phone. Take it. Take it. Take it now. I want to prep for the next class. You stay quiet if you remain here. I, I, I did give me my phone. You have my phone. Give the phone to him. Please, please, did you see David, my son? Sorry. Did you see him? Sorry. Oh. Excuse me. Please, did you see David bad most my son? Ah, yes, my son. He left a couple of minutes ago. He has left? Yes, ma'am. Please, do you know who he left with? No, ma'am. He left alone. I saw him walk off. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Where has he gone to? Hey, God! <laughs> 
don't allow any evil happen to him. Keep him safe for me, God. Keep my son safe for me. Where is David? Where is he? God, help me. Hey. Help me, Lord. Where is my son? But where is he? Mother, are you crying or calling on my name? Where did you go to? Nowhere. I came home. Why didn't you wait for me to pick you up? Because I know not want to enter that car of yours. That car of mine? That car of mine? That is what you just said to me, baby. What is the matter with you? Eh? I have got everything possible to take care of you. But yet you are not satisfied. What do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to be like other moms, mom. I want you to do whatever it takes to be in plenty. To rent flashy cars. To not make me lose respect in front of my peers. And to be just like every other kid who lives well. Drives in a good car. And also hide in shame when others are having the time of their lives. David, I don't know what you expect from me. But I will not lose my dignity. I will not lose myself all because of your business wants and desires. You know what? I have come of age. I'm no longer a baby. I'm 16. And if you do not get all I need, I will. Baby, come back here. Where do you think you're going to? Come back here. What is happening? What is happening? My son has left it! <laughs> it's good for you. No, that's that's just cheating. You're no. so going to lose. Right, because you keep cheating. Oh. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Thank you. Phil, stop doing that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so that's what we're doing Again. Now. Spend your free time. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hey, and you? Since you've decided not to take yourself seriously, I'll advise you to not drag your sister down with you. We're just playing a game, sir. She, she's been studying all day and she wanted to take a break. And what about you? When will you take a break from this and actually study? Get out of my sight. So you are here? And let Flo while away her time playing video game? What's wrong with that? I mean, she was studying and decided to take a break, then chose to spend it with her brother. What's wrong? Can you listen to yourself? This is how it starts. Before you know it, she starts spending less time on her studies and her grade starts to fall. Fred, you're unbelievable. Do you even want your kids to be happy? Honestly, I think you're too hard on these kids. Really? See what your free hand has done to our son? This is on you, Ovie. That's not fair. That is not fair. You know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. I had a tough day at work. I need to go and rest.
Who is that? Yeah. Mama's boy. <laughs> I no longer angry. But you told me we were out today at school over a girl. You see, that right there is what I don't like. What have I done now? You calling me Mama's boy is not cool. <laughs> but you still live with mommy, don't you? You still get dropped off and picked up by mommy. She'd have seen her today. She almost threw a fit when she came to pick you up and you were gone. When are you going to break loose from her? I know the home. So girls like Amaka worship the very ground you walk on. Cheon, keep shut. Don't push him to the wrong side. Which wrong side? If you can do it, why can't it? What is it, Obi? If there's something I can do, you better say it. Forget it, David. This life is not for you. What life? The one that helps you pay your fees and allows you to live large. Which kind of friend you be safe? Please show me the way and help me become more. Don't you have something to say to me before presenting your needs before me? Obi, I'm sorry for my outburst earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Something to help you relax before we get into the nitty gritty of things. Take only two sips because this is your first time. Yeah. If you take one more sip than you should, you'll end up in the hospital with a bleeding heart. Jesus! Are you serious? Guy, leave the Lord's name out of this. This is man made. What's in it? It's a mixture of alcohol and some secret pharmaceutical additives. But is it such a combination poisonous? Guy, you're asking too much questions. If it was poisonous, wouldn't most of us be dead by now? So you want to deny that folks have not been dying from drug abuse? Perhaps they took the wrong mixture. <laughs> or they overdosed on it. <laughs> Science <laughs> today. Magic. Yeah, Guy, what's your whole self? Help me ask him. We're just asking stupid questions. I know the science student. My guy, Jazz up Jerry. Boys are using their God given talent and making good mixes. And you're here dulling. My friend, drink up Jerry. You still be the one to thank us at the end of the day. But you just said. Forget about what I said. Take a sip. Because the pending job that's about to take you from your present state of misery is not the one to be done with your normal senses. Right, 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 <laughs> so, right. drink. Right. <laughs> okay, so Major, um, I'll just leave you to prepare the paperwork for my client's release, huh? and uh, I'll start to call from the office. <laughs> <laughs> you did this, didn't you? The so-called witness who disappeared. You did that, right? Major, Major, please, cut me some slack, please. I won't do such a thing. I mean, in my 30 years of practice, I have never tried in one moment, I mean in one day, to outsmart or manipulate my opponent. No, I have never. I'm a man of good standing. I'm honorable. So I will take your insinuations as a cry of frustration. <laughs> See you around, Major. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why are you mm. covering that? I told you I want to see. I want to see. Show sure you what. <laughs> Okay, it's not for your eyes. Uh, for some special people. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Why don't you like it? Oh, cool. I like it. So who do we have here? This is David. Hello, David. <laughs> so this is the fine young man I'm supposed to meet. Yes. Oh, my darling. David, help me get up. Thank you. <laughs> I like him already. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we're going to share this cup, don't worry. Just have to take another one. All right, ladies. Good luck, Take care of mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you as good as Obi and Shion are? I will only try, and you'll be the judge of it. Interesting. I like your modesty. So, you can call me Mo or Mrs. O. Oh. Okay, Mo. What will you have me do for you? Why don't you approach and show me what you can do? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you miss me so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, now. Let's go in. You know the Jew now, money first. Oh, yeah. my bad. You know, the want of you has driven me insane. <laughs> Get my bag. Get my bag. Sure. Uh -huh. You and Molly, this boy. Okay. Give me the gift. Here. <laughs> See, Liz, I'm all yours. That's <laughs> <laughs> boy. Come on. Uh, now, I'm really getting to mine. Come on. I got you. <laughs> Amaka. Amaka. Yes, sir. Are you well? Where are your manners? Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. What's wrong with you? Why didn't you join us for breakfast? I'm not hungry. So what's going on? What's the matter? What? Talk to me. What is it? I st you started your round of questioning again. Leave her alone now. Why don't you just mind your business and let me have a civil conversation with my daughter? I mean, this is the only time we get to see. I mean, is there anything wrong in me wanting to share in her journey? She's a teenager. Teenagers do not discuss their thoughts with their parents at this age. And you think that is right? No, I'm asking you. And you're encouraging her to hold up her emotions and not share it with us? You think it's right? See, it's not whether it's right or wrong. That's just the norm with teenagers. Come on, come on. Don't pay attention to your mom. Hmm? All teenagers don't have to behave the same way. They don't have to act typical. They don't have to keep or hold up their emotions because it is unhealthy. So please, whatever is bothering you, feel free to talk to me. Did she tell you anything is bothering her? Uh -uh. Doesn't she look it? 
If you pay attention to her, you will know that there's I something wrong. I pay attention to my own child, Festus. There is nothing wrong with Amaka. She's perfectly yeah, all right. Because you're not paying attention to her. That's why you're not paying this. attention. There is nothing wrong with Amaka. She is fine. Are you there? Are you, I mean, how can you say she's fine when you, when you don't even she know what She's fine. There's about. nothing wrong. Stop, Stop saying there's Stop. something wrong with my daughter. There's Stop. nothing wrong. I'm perfectly okay. You see? She's fine. Um, there's a matter that bothers me, though. Okay. I'm all yes. Dad, my 16th birthday is around the corner and no one seems to be making any plans for it. Oh, it's turning 16 no longer a big deal. So that's it then. <clears throat> Amaka, you should know us now. See? Eh? So that's why you, you were be, being moody and all of that. See, we haven't forgotten about your upcoming birthday. What I and your father have planned for you will blow your mind. If it's the car that you promised to give her, hmm? forget it. I still insist that we have to wait till she turns 18. Festus, you see, this behavior, this lawyering behavior that you carry around, everywhere, in the bedroom, in the kitchen, on the dining, in the sitting room, that's what I hate about you. How many times have I told you, I've told you on many occasions, that all of my friends, without... Any one of them failing, gifted their teenage daughters and sons with cars on their 16th birthday. Now explain to me why my own case would be different. Are you listening to yourself? Huh? No, no. Are you hearing yourself talk? No, tell me now. Are you hearing yourself talk? No, sometimes I don't even, I don't even understand. I, I, I just wonder. I... Mr. Wonder, Mr. Wonder, tell me what are you wondering about? Z oh, yeah, spill now. Tell me what is there to wonder about. How can a man be wandering all over the place? What are you wondering? But how can you be thinking like this now? How can I? What am I not thinking? Are you be encouraging what is not? Mom! Stop it! Whatever you plan on gifting me with, I will appreciate it. But what I need the most is an account that I have free access to. Dad, I don't want to have to be asking for money for every little thing. My hair, my sanitary items, clothes, shoes, extra handouts. Snacks and uh, done. Hmm? Done. I'm going to get on the phone to my account officer and he'll have it sorted out. You've been nothing but an amazing teenager. And I love you, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mom, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, have a nice day, darling. Thank you. You know, see you soon. Bye. Thank you, Mom. I know, I know, I know. All right, we have to go. I'm running late. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Genius. Bye bye, darling. Bye. Um, Doris, please clean up after the kids and take care of the house. See you later. Okay, Mom. David, this boy will not stay home. Where did you sleep last night? Good morning, Mom. Where did you sleep last night? Technically, I did not sleep, Mom. What do you mean by that? I did not get any sleep, Mother. Did them go to my room and get ready for we school? We are going nowhere until you explain this madness you speak. What madness? That I'm trying to make a living and be independent. <laughs> what living are you planning on making at 16? The one you so meticulously provide. I have to literally wait for months before I get whatever I ask from you. I'm a grown man now. I can take care of myself. David, be very careful. David, be very careful. Do not let the wrath of God visit you. This behavior you have adapted is unbecoming. And I forbid you to carry on like this. Now, go in, get ready for school, and I will take you. I'll take myself to school, dear mom. Thank you for your offer, though. I will not stand by and watch you get rotten. I will beat that demon that has possessed you until it leaves you. 
Oh, you good and upright woman. Who knew you had such fire in you? And why have you not used this to the benefit of us? You show so much sternness with me, yet you out holy all the time. And where have I been landed you? Nowhere. Your holy self is divorced. You stay in a poor house. And you work as a secretary to a middle class man. And you drive a nearly outdated car. If this is how the life of a moral person is, I don't want to be righteous. I will now go in and get my things. And I will leave you here to your holy life alone. Come back here! Do not work out on me! This is Cynthia, David Badmoss's mother. I'm very well, thank you. I want to make a complaint regarding the pickup routine of the school. So I came by yesterday to pick up my son and was told he had left. How is this allowed? Who signed for his release? Of course I'm worried, or shouldn't I be? Good. Please do look into it and let me know. Thank you very much. Cynthia. I couldn't help but overhear you talk about your son. You mean he left before you picked him up at school? Yes, my sister. And I fear it will be a norm from now. He's becoming rebellious, isn't he? <laughs> More than you know, my sister. I can't seem to get through to him, no matter how I try. Raising him has never been this hard, ever since my husband left. Don't beat yourself up. It's normal for teenagers to behave rebellious without reason. Without reason? Just like that. Out of the blues. Who comes up with all these theories? It is what it is, my sister. It happens to the best of them. You see, now is the time you need to show him more love than ever before. He seems lost and he may even be needing from you more than what you can give. But where do all the trainings go? Eh? I pride myself a good mother and I raised him well as far as I know. Exactly the same question I asked myself when at the age of 16 my first daughter started misbehaving. Hmm. Megan! Cynthia! Sir, where are these women? We're right here, sir. What are you people doing here? Uh, we're trying to take fresh air, sir. As usual, I guess. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Is this what I pay you for? No, sir. No, no, sorry, sir. sir. I want to see the two of you in my office now. Sorry. Behave yourselves. I don't like those girls. Why? I, I just don't like them. I don't like the way they do things around here. Don't worry. Those girls are the real deal. Uh -uh. You don't see how they carry themselves. So much charisma. I don't like them. Yeah. I've said my own name. Come on. Thanks. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I just Yeah, Maka. Hey, Hi, David. How are you? I'm fine. I overheard you saying you didn't have lunch money yesterday. Oh, yeah, true. So I got this. Yeah, just... Yeah, just have everything. Are you serious? Yeah, that's thank you. Thank you so much. No. Thank you. It's nothing. I do this all the time. Thank you, thank you. Please, may I have your number? Yeah, sure, sure. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. This is not so. David, the only man that killed Goliath. Try <laughs> really, guy. No be like you talk. Oh. Guys, if you continue like this, you'll have to explain to all works you. How can you stop? stop? How can you stop when what you're saying is true? You small David. 
took on and killed that Goliath looking man. <laughs> Guy, I even she was screaming all true. Ah, David, take it easy on me. Ah, David, take it easy on me. Are you serious right ah, now? David, don't kill me. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, one. I swear, ah, you can just tell that. David Badmos, principal wants to see you in the office now. What does the principal want me for? I have not done anything wrong. Let's go. Be at ease, David. No one is accusing you of committing any offence. There's a complaint brought before us by your mother. My mother? Yes, David, your mother. She says you've gone astray and you've left the house without her permission. Is this true? Indeed it is, ma'am. And why is that? My mother abuses me at the slightest chance of provocation. And I couldn't take it anymore. She does? Yes. She beats me and screams at me all the time. And I needed a more conducive environment to study as my grades were getting affected. And so I talked to a few of my classmates who then offered me accommodation. I'll return home as soon as the extension classes are over. The information you've just shared with me, is it accurate? Yes, ma'am. Mm. I'll look into it and I'll get back to you, David. You can return to your classroom now. Thank you, madam. I just want to buy some snacks. Come here, Jerry. Bring that phone. Bring that phone. Bring that phone. Ah, ah. iPhone. See him now. Bring that phone. Bring that phone. Bring that phone. Uh-uh. You're using this fool. If you sell this one, you go cash out. Uh, uh, soft uh, soft money. My ex must be this now. Uh-uh. Where they go now? G guys, please, can I get my phone back? <laughs> <laughs> you want your phone back? Why should we give it back? Because it's my phone. So what? Why is my business if it's yours? See, guys, I don't want any trouble. I just came here to get some snacks, then head home. Please, just give me my phone so I can go. Ken, Ken. You think it's like that, that teacher came to save you, Abby? You want your phone. You have to fight for it. Fight yes. for your phone? You have to fight for what you want, Repita. Fight for your phone. I want my phone. You want your phone. You want your phone. Fight for your phone now. Ow! 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 What's this on your face? Did somebody beat you up in school? Yes, they did. But what happened to you now? See this thing on your face. This is rubbish. But what happened? You have to tell me. What will mom and dad say? What will mom and dad say? What happened to you? Just talk to Stop. me. No. Oh, take it easy. That hurts. Sorry, sorry. Mom's back. What do we do? Mom's home. Find the wrong house. No. Ken. What is this? Who did this to you? It's, it's, it's nothing, Mom. It's just some boys in school are playing rough. That's all. Playing rough? Let me see that. What Ow. Mm. It hurts. Oh, well, you should have thought of that before deciding that this should happen. No, Mom. It's not like that. They... They what? Phil, do you know who did this to your brother? Yes, Mom. It's those same boys in his class again. They beat him up for no reason. Kim, but you see they've stopped bothering you. I'm sorry, Mom. I, I saw how much it upset you, so I didn't want to say anything again. It's fine. It's fine. It's 
Sorry, okay? I'll discuss this with your father when he comes back. Let me get something for the pain. But this has to stop. This is bullying. It has to stop. I'm happy about this. What? Thanks a lot. Oh, this one I'm just stop calling you. Why? Which woman is this, Tommy? Believe it or not, it's my mother. Your mother indeed. You better watch it and don't play games with me. Don't! MG, I promise you that was truly my mother. Mm -hmm. I hear you. But I'm tempted to ask if argument says no strings attached, why do you sound so jealous? Stay there and be asking me jam question. My own is, let nobody's time affect my time. Strings or no strings. If you are not jealous of your friend, why are you bothered about another? You can continue speaking English. Hmm? When you finish, you tell me. Should they have said my own? No worries, MG. That was my mother. I have to go now. <laughs> I did not see anything, man. Go, 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 go! Thief! Thief! Keep quiet! Eh? Keep quiet! Come on, stop making noise! Eh? Why, why have you been stealing my money? Now? Eh? Are you not the one I'm asking? Eh? Can you stop this, this insane brutality? What is it? You call this brutality? You call this brutality? Wait until I start giving her everlasting marks. No, 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 you will do no such thing. Ha! What crime has she committed that you, you, you will treat her like this? Isn't that what you should have asked before taking sides? No, I'm not taking sides. I'm only asking. Okay, what happened? This ungrateful buffoon of a thief has been stealing my money. And today I found money in her possession and she said it was from salary I paid her two weeks ago. And to top it all, she accused my daughter of theft. Hmm? By the time I finish with you today, huh? you will not be able to raise one finger to steal anything again. No, my dear, no, Shut, Shut up! Shut up! Doris, is this true? No, sir, it's not true. So I'm lying. Hmm? Get you wait, wait. When did you pay her last? All of two weeks ago. Two whole weeks ago. Well, is it possible that she could have saved the money? And what kind of question is that one? What are you suggesting? No, I am not suggesting anything. I am only asking. I mean, isn't it is there no possibility that she could have saved that money, that what you have paid her is part of that money? Is that so? So you believe that your daughter who was born into wealth, my own special daughter, is a thief. And not this wretch who was born by a long generation of poverty-stricken people. Ngechi, it's okay. Please. Hold on. Ha. Huh? Doris. <laughs> what reason do you have to point accusing finger at, uh, at Amaka? I mean, do you have any proof? Any evidence to prove that? What sort of uh, question is that one? You think this is your law court? So this is now your law court. I'm standing with Doris and we are judging matter as age mates. Eh? We're judging matter. This is your law court. It's a senior advocate seeking justice. Rubbish. Let me warn you. If I come back to this house and I find you or anything that looks like your shadow, <laughs> I will finish you. Then I'll unfinish you. Then I'll finish you again. Idiot. Try me, you. Try me. Try me. Oh, please, I did not steal anything. Amaka keeps coming back home where you and Madame live. She went to your room and she'll come down with her hands in her pocket. One day I followed her and I noticed that it was money she was taking. Why didn't you report her then? I was scared. Nobody will listen to me. Nobody will believe me. But please, sir. I did not steal anything. Please let me stay, sir. 
Doris, I have heard you. But I do not know if my madam will. Please, sir, help me, sir. Please. Okay. Okay. You will stay. Hmm? You will stay. Please, please, please sir. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. So how is it? Oh, crazy one. We had to drop a case we had on one of the drug dealers we arrested last month because we lost our star witness. How come? I wish I knew. The man just disappeared. No contact information, nothing at all. No one has seen him. Oh, sweetie. I know how hard you worked on that case. So all that effort, it's gone. <sighs> all those months of chasing Abdul. Seven whole months. All gone. So what happens now? <laughs> well, we'll have to let him go. His lawyer demanded that we release him. Since we do not have any evidence to build a case against him. <sighs> that is so sad. It's fine. Don't worry. You'll get him. <sighs> I'm sure he'll travel out of the country once he gets out. Anyway, how about you? How was your day? Fine, fine. <laughs> Good? Normal day, I'm eating. Okay, very cool. Sweetie, um, please let me talk to you about something. Yes. Okay. I want to talk to you about Ken. I don't know what we're going to do. Probably go to his school or something, lay complain. Do you know he came back and found him with bruises all over him? I think those boys are eating again. Yeah, they're they attacking him again. So why did he say they had left him when they hadn't? Maybe he's ashamed. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I wonder when this boy will begin to stand for himself. Or fight back. Why would my own son let people bully and walk all over him like this? We are... Even, sir. Your mom told me you're still having troubles at school. Talk to me, young man. Yes, sir. And I hope the people responsible for this thing on your face have the same bruises. No, sir. Why? Because you're too weak to defend yourself? Who raised you to be this way? I'm sorry, Dad, but I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yes, you did something wrong. Because you stood there and let another boy beat you up like you have no hands and legs to defend yourself with. That's a big shame. Uh, sweetie, please, don't, don't be too hard on him. I mean, would it have been better if he had gotten into a fight and is suspended? Oh, yes. Then I'll know I'm not the father of a weak son. Go and think of how much of a disappointment you are to me. Oh, sweetie, please, don't talk like this to him. You're being too hard on him. Who did I put you see now? Uh, Doris! Doris! She left this, this morning. Left this morning? Yes. Where to? I sent her away. I stopped her. What? Without my knowledge? What do you do that for? Do you have a business to conclude with Doris that I know nothing about? Why do I need your permission to fire her? Did I take your permission when I hired her? I see. Okay. Okay, I see. Well done, eh? Keep it up. Hmm? Yeah? Keep it up. No thieving witch is going to spend a day longer than necessary in my house. Thieving witch. Yeah. Oh. Good morning, princess. How are you? So, where's your brother? Uh, 
You got zero over 50 in your test? What is this? Mom, I read for that test. I studied. You studied for this test? Oh, something must be wrong with my eyes because this doesn't look as if you studied at all. Kim, what, what, what is going on? I don't know what happened, Mom. I'm, I'm sorry. I did my best. Sweetie, look, other kids are doing well. Look at your sister. She's doing well. All the kids have great grades. What's happening to you? Why can't you be like them? Do they have two heads? Oh, I did my best. I, I actually did. Obviously, this best is not good enough. You didn't even try. How can this be your best? Can walk to your father say if he sees this? Zero over fifty. God, can just just eat, just eat, eat. I can't believe this. Zero over fifty, really. You're frustrated by life. Thank you. They're over 50. Mrs. Odafed, I assure you we are going to meet this bullying situation in the board. We do have a no bullying policy in the school. A no bullying policy? Yes. And my son has been a victim for God knows how long. How could you let this happen to a child that's been kept under your care, right under your nose? We have an open door policy. The students know they can come to speak with me or any of the teachers on ground. Your son should have come to meet me when these things were happening to him. Ken, why did you not come to meet me when these things were happening to you? Madam, you see, when these things are happening to these children, they prefer to stay quiet rather than do the right thing and report to the authorities. So if my son had been killed, you would be asking why he didn't come to report to the authorities? I apologize, this has happened. And I assure you that the child in question is going to be severely dealt with. This will not repeat itself again. I will see to it personally. Madam, I will also keep an eye on Ken. I will make sure this never happens again. I hope so. Because if this happens again, I won't be this nice. And you, Ken, stay away from those boys, okay? Yes, ma'am. And pay attention to your studies. I, I can't have you fail an exam. Study. Those ones having good grades, they don't have two heads. You can't have zero over 50. It's crazy. It's not allowed. Okay? Okay, ma'am. I know you do better. Okay. Just take care of yourself, okay? All right, my daughter is in the car. Okay, do I look okay? Please sit down. What? So, what happened? My world is crashing. My only son has left home for good. Oh no, he's not back yet. No, he hasn't come back. First, it was Daniel who walked away. And now it's David. <laughs> it's true what the gossips say. I can't keep a man. I mean, literally. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. Don't beat yourself up with words. See, there is nothing wrong with you. And you are a very good woman. Your husband left for reasons best known to him. And as for your son... He definitely will come back. 
I doubt so, Megan. He told the principal that I was abusing him. And she seemed to believe him. What? <laughs> Imagine the woman who knows nothing of my relationship with my son tells me that she's advising me to respect my son's decision to stay with his friend due to my abuse. Me. Megan, me. Oh, I am finished. I'm really finished. Please, I, I feel so sad to hear this. But please, you need to be strong. You need to be strong. And just prayerfully watch and see the way God will bring your son back to you. That is my hope. That is my hope, my sister. And I pray he comes through for me. And fast too. Before I lose it completely. He definitely will. You need to put yourself together, okay? Please. He, your son will come back. Just be strong. How dare you badge on me in such an unpleasant manner? Are you high? Can't you knock? Amaka, sorry you. I forgot to knock. You are very mad. Get out of my room now! Ah, small madam, look this. I just say make a call. I say get out of my room this second. Idiot. Say make a call, say madam and or fool. Come here again without knocking and you see what I'll do to you. Or day. Village goat. But you never wish to insult me now. I say get out! Out! Amaka! Dad! Amaka! Dad! Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Hold that up, brother. Mom, you need to warn that house girl to stop entering my room unannounced. It's okay. Don't let it spoil your day. Sit down to breakfast. Amaka, is that what you're wearing out? Or it's your house dress? Daddy, what is wrong with what I'm wearing? You don't see anything wrong with it? Haven't you heard the saying, dress as you want to be addressed? Dad, my dressing has nothing to do with who I am. A dress is simply an expression of art through fabrics, colors, and stitches. Oh. How about what you represent? Look, a good and decent girl must never be provocatively dressed. Your dressing must reflect who you are as a person. You judge me, Dad. And that's not cool. Mom, please say something. Sweetheart, God looks at the heart and the deeds of a person, not in the outward adornment of what covers the flesh. Ngeji, is that what you're going to think, is it? I'd like to say something wrong. Sometimes you, I mean, you surprise me, you know. I mean, I just can't understand. I, I, I wonder what you, who, the kind of person you are. Where did you and all the people that claim that phrase see it in the Bible? Where? Be sure to show me where you see it. Just be sure to show me where you saw that, that thing in the Bible. Look, you can't even wish your daughter a happy birthday. Huh? Darling. Well, thank God he's transferred the money to you. So anyway, go out today and enjoy your 16th. But be sure you get back here before 10, whatever you do. Okay? Have yourself a blast on your sweet 16. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Here is to officially welcome Amaka Okiri to the Fold Girls. Do make her feel at home. Amaka Okere, the name that screams in pain. It needs to be changed. Do not jump protocol, Abigail. In due time, she will learn all there is to be learned. But for now, let's welcome her to the fold and treat her like one of us. She has earned her membership. Amaka Sugar, welcome. Thank you. Hello, I'm Abigail. Hi, Abigail. 
Hi, babe. I'm Dora. Hi, Dora. Speech, 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 speech. <clears throat> um, you girls have no clue how happy I am right now. I mean, this is a dream come true for me. I have admired the lot of you from the sidelines ever since I got into this school. I noticed your friendship, your bond, your lifestyle, which was extravagant, colorful, and so inviting. And all I ever wanted was to belong. <laughs> I remember telling a classmate how I admired you a lot. And she said never to think it because you only made friends with the rich. <laughs> well, to cut the long story short, I pushed on and sought for a means to belong. And I took the bold step to approach Kendra. And after our background checks, I was deemed fit to belong here. I love you all for accepting me as one of your own. And I promise to not let you down. Good. Nice. Well said. Now, for your welcome package. You will drink this on the count of ten and smoke this afterwards. What is this, please? I... I have never taken alcohol before and I do not smoke too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, dear Amaka, every ill and bad behavior starts one day. And that day for you is now. So, drink up. But is this really necessary? Well, absolutely, darling. Once you drink up and smoke that, you get so high and wasted. Then we'll record everything and keep it safe. Should you misbehave, it will be used against you. Uh, Dora, big mouth. Did you have to? Don't shush me. It is what it is. Indeed, it is what it is. So drink up, babe. But why do you have to record me and hold the footage against me? I thought joining this clique will make me a part of you. You are a part of us, my dear. This is only a security measure to ensure that all our members stay on track. You have no cause to worry if you don't plan on messing up. Or do you? No, 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 I don't. I want to be part of this, this group of strong, rich girls who rule the school social place. Great. Then you have nothing to worry about. You see, whatever we do or say here, or within this clique, must stay within. So if for any reason any of you decides to reveal to anyone what goes on in here, the high video of the culprit will be released. High video? But what does that even mean? <laughs> Drink up. Smoke up now or walk away. Here you go. Go on. Mm. <laughs> Good girl. Enjoy it. Huh? huh? That's it. Good. <laughs> Good. Yay. <laughs> well done. Now let's go celebrate your sweet 16, baby girl. Okay. Listen, spread it all up. Cause it's time for us to party. Come to dad. Cause I want to spare your money. Show me your style, show me your style. Cause 
I have to go home. Well, why leave your old gig and run to your cozy little bed when I was looking forward to dancing? Uh, is that fair day? Please leave me alone. I can see you're tipsy. No, 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 I'm not tipsy. No, no, come on. May I have to dance? I don't want to dance. Are you okay? Are you okay? My brother, your gas is not good dry. So make you come to dad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because I want to spare you money. Pants and dollars. And some narrows if you want it. Wow, is that the greeting I get? Well, good to see you too, little brother. How have you been? I've told you to stop referring to me as little brother. I'm 16, not a baby, and you're only three years older. So please, give me that respect. <laughs> Mom is not paranoid for nothing, I see. Oh, so she called you here to help tame me, right? Oh, sis. I don't need no team. Oh, sis. There's absolutely nothing wrong with me. Go back to your daddy's house. Listen, David. I know what you're about. I have been there, done that, and believe me, it leads you nowhere. All you will succeed in doing to mom with this rebellious attitude of yours is give her high blood pressure. Mm hmm? High blood pressure. Me, give her high blood pressure. Is that what you and daddy tell yourself? To make you both feel better about abandoning us and going off without the care in this world? If that does not give her high blood pressure, I doubt anything else will. I see you're still pained about our living. But Dave, you know it wasn't my fault, right? Do you know how many times I have begged that to reconcile with mom? And please, you don't always have to bring that up at the slightest banter we have now. Oh, just go. Get out. Leave. Dave. Leave. Dave. Dave. See what I told you, Esther. Don't worry, mom. He'll come around. I hope so. I really do hope so. It's already very late, Esther. Please spend the night with us. No, Mom. Dad will have my head. <laughs> I'll just take a cab, okay, Mom? Hi, Mom. Hi. Please stay safe, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you. I love you too, baby. Hi, Adora. Hello, Ken. I heard about what happened to you yesterday. I wonder why those silly boys will not leave you alone. It's, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm glad you're okay. Um, <clears throat> um, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help me study the biology tests on Monday and the mock is coming. I really need to double up. I'd love to. I even need someone who will keep me focused there. <laughs> you focus, Adora. If you're more focused than you are right now, there is trouble. Oh, Joe. But it's true. I mean, you are the star student. You're the head girl. While I'm just the airhead repeater. Ow! That hurts. What do you do that for? That was for speaking poorly of yourself. But it's true. Like, I mean, I've studied so hard for as long as I can remember, but I don't get more than a C. And even the Cs are very far and in between. Still doesn't mean you should talk that way about yourself. 
Just because you're not doing well academically doesn't mean you failed in life. My parents feel otherwise, especially my dad. Oh, he's wrong. You're a kind, thoughtful and brave person. I can't forget how you came to my rescue about a year ago when they tried to bully me. You saved the day and got all their attention. Yeah, and that's when all the bullying started. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining though. They can keep bullying me as far as they leave you alone. Thank you so much, Ken. You're such a good person. And I'm... Um, I appreciate everything you did for me then. I still do, just that it feels bad that they've taken to bullying you. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> I wonder why the school refuses to do anything about these boys. They're a menace to society. It boils down to affluence. Their parents are very influential, I'm sure. And so is your father. Yeah, but my dad would not be caught dead playing politics or trying to get me favors in school. I'm sorry this is all happening to you because of me. You're such a good person. <laughs> oh, it, it's fine. They will eventually get tired of bullying me and they'll stop. Um, so is noon good for you? Yeah, traveling is fine. Please don't forget I'm at your mercy, Adora. Good, Joe. You need to trust yourself more and see us as it falls. Look at me. Who would have thought I'd be needing these makeup classes? Adora, you were ill. That is the only reason you missed the exam. If not, you will not be here. Come, let's go, Joe. Major, Major. <clears throat> well, I guess we are done here. Yeah. Okay, free man. So, Major. Oh, thank you. Major. I think you smile more. <laughs> Let's go. You need a shield. No, I'm gonna cut this. This is my new identity. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Put your hand well now. Mm-hmm. Position it well. Am I sure you? Bring it, bring it. Bring that phone. Let's see. Is it nice? Just look at the nonsense. Okay, this is rubbish. Look at the rock. Does it look nice? Get out. See, just go. Nonsense. I can't pose that. Hi, hi, girls. Hi, girls. What's up? Fine, girl. Hi. Hope you all enjoyed the party. Mm, okay. oh, really about the party, you just left town notice. One minute you were with the group and the next you were gone. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I had to meet up with my curfew. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Curfew care, people. Ah. At this your age, do your parents know that you are 16? They still treat me like a baby in that house. Baby. Mm -hmm. Shame. I have all the freedom to do whatever I need, exactly. whenever I want. Whatever I want. Yes, girl. <laughs> That may be tough for me to do. My dad is a tiger. <laughs> I can imagine. See the way she took off to avoid beating. I see. She ah, ran. Ah, it's not that bad. <laughs> ah, they no. don't beat me. Ah, so. Thank God, though. But seriously, though, you need to let them understand that you've come of age. Stop playing, baby, and they'll see you for the big girl that you've become. But wait, though, how do you go to see your boyfriend if they are just strict with you? True. Like, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Yes. No, I don't have a boyfriend. What? <laughs> what? That's a lie. What? what is your... Wait, hey, hey. It's definitely Amaka, lie. Wait, She's wait, joking. Wait, 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 wait. Amaka, please, with all this, your fineness, what are you waiting for? Fine, girl. I don't know. My parents say it's not the right time. Oh, it's... <laughs> so when is the right time? When I get married. What? Uh, nah, so... <laughs> really? That is the lie that all wow. parents tell their kids so they don't experience the goodness that they enjoy. Exactly. exactly. Yes, <laughs> Amaka. See, please don't let anyone hear these things that you're saying. Tom. In fact, come closer. Let me show you some things online that will get your adrenaline Please pumping. show it to her. I don't make the scene. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you, I got this ring. Gotta be following me. Drip down the side of me. Well, jump out for your little inside of me. Maka! Daddy! Maka! Daddy! Ah. What's going on here? What were you doing? Why was this door locked? I'm sorry, I didn't know it was locked. What's, what's going on? I mean, what's this loud noise I'm hearing from your room? 
I was checking something on YouTube. Something? Like what? What my, are you researching my, on? My homework. Your homework? Yes, Daddy. Are, are you okay? Your, your, I mean, all is well, have you? Yes, all is well. Perfectly well. Okay. Alright, just uh, make it quick eh? and uh, catch some sleep. Hmm? Alright, Dad. Good night. Good night, Dad. Nedu, yes, I hear you and your friends are terrorizing students in my school. A report was brought and I carried out my personal findings and I believe this to be true. Why are you bullying Ken? Ken is our friend, ma. Yes, ma, he's our friend. Uh, we, we play a lot now. Ken, is this true? Yes, ma, my friends. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. All right, Ken. If anyone troubles you in the school, I want you to immediately come and see me. And as for the three of you, stay out of trouble. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Okay, students, um, the last objective of the lesson, draw and label the human skeleton. Um, I'll go around to check your drawings. Um, please kindly make sure you keep it simple and very neat. Keep it simple and very neat. And please, no shading, no counter shading. And make sure, please give a title to your diagram. Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Keep it up. That's good. Okay. Um, let me see your work. I said no shading, please. Keep it simple for me. Thank you. It's very good. Oh, this is better than the last time. That's good. That's good. That's good. Some of you are improving. Like, I must say, I must say. I must say, some of you are improving. Wow. This is not so good. This is not so good. I expect more from you. Um, can you please do that again? Can you draw it again? Can you start afresh? Please. Thank you. Okay. Um, that's a good one. Just hold on, please. Um, you need to clean this place. You don't need to shade. You don't need to shade. Wow, this is fantastic. Can you please proceed with your labelings? Make sure your labelings are to the right hand side of the diagram. Wow, Ken, I never knew you could draw this well. <laughs> Thanks. Your labels are wrong. The mandible and the maxillae are in the wrong place. Same with the cranium and the eye sockets. You mix them all up. <sighs> Great, I am done. Don't say that. Keep practicing and you'll get it right. The good thing is that you drew it well. Yeah, the drawing is the easy part, but I'm not going to get like a high score for just drawing. This is biology, not fine art. Keep practicing and you'll get it right. I looked at some past questions and the skeleton is the most popular diagram they ask. If you get it right, it's about 30 marks more. Right? Oh, wow. Now you know, so keep practicing. We'll do a productive system next. Thanks. It's no big deal. Don't thank me. Hello. Shh. Back to work. Are you done? You're talking. Okay, um, if you have any problem, um, you can please raise up your hand. That's why we're here. It's an extension class. We've done it before. Okay, can I have you? Sir, those two holes on top of the tin's head, is that the eyes? Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is actually the orbital socket. It's not actually the eyes. That's the eye socket. That is the place the, um, the eyeball um, goes into in a living body. Same goes for this place, um, the nasal socket. The mandible, the maxilla, and the what? And the cranium. That's the brain box. Yes, sir. Okay. Any more questions? So happy. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, David. Hey. Hi. I'm good. Thanks a lot. And thanks for the other night. Oh, it's nothing. I hope your folks didn't come hard on you. No, they haven't gotten back home yet. So, uh, hi. Hey. I was good and sleeping by the time they returned. Oh, that's good to hear. <sighs> okay, then. See you later. All right. And hey, please stay away from trouble, okay? But should anyone harass you, let me know. And I'll handle them accordingly. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I sure will. Yeah. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Yeah. Later. David. Hey. Is there anything the matter? You called? Yes, I did. Um I want to apologize for the rude manner with which I have treated you in the past. I see now you're a decent lad and only sought my friendship because you genuinely cared. Or am I wrong to assume so? No, no, you are not wrong at all. You're very correct. I approached you only because I cared for you. <sighs> cared? Um, are we now talking past tense? No, not at all. I meant to say care. I still do care. But I'm not one to push my feelings too hard on anyone. Oh, and I must say, I dig that sort of character. Um, you know what? I don't mind us being friends at all. We could start slow and see where it ends. I say yes, totally. So, shall I propose a date then? <laughs> I hope I'm not being too forward. Hell no! This is going way better than I ever imagined. <laughs> okay, um, let me know when then. Here are my digits. Oh, okay. Yeah, so text me your address and time, okay? Yeah, I will. All right. Thank you. Bye. After what you got to trouble Cause your body don't be wood Who is that? Yeah. What's your problem? You want to give me a hacker? I know you're tired for this science mistress. <laughs> I'm more tired now. <laughs> Who's going to supply all the pleasure seeking teenagers in school? Stay there and talking. Now, why do you knock so hard like that? I need to use this place. Well. I mean, I need to own this place for the weekend. I beg, it's very important. <laughs> you want to bring babe and me? <laughs> Guy. Or just any babe. Zamaka. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she wants me and I must not fall hard. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, see, I don't show I say I will pepper. <laughs> and I acted well as a guy, the young angel. <laughs> 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 so she has gone all soft on me now. I want a date. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Great day. Guy, can you believe it? Mama Kawu have crushed up for so long. <laughs> What's gone a date with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blow, I don't blow, I don't, I don't blow, I don't blow, I don't blow. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> cheers, 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 yeah, cheers, bro, cheers. Ken, my guy, how far? Hey, calm down. Yeah, how far now? You have a little talk. Hmm? So you are the gods to report me and my guys to Prissy. It, it wasn't me. I, 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 I didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't say anything to the principal. Yeah, guy, you didn't want me. No, say you didn't want us. Do you expect us to believe that gist? You think so? You belong like you, sir. But go to San Hey, I don't think it's fair to have three guys spit up one boy. Who is this guy? You know what I think. 
I think it's best you mind your business. Well, go, Joe. Let him go. And we will revisit this later. See. Guy, something is worrying you. Don't you want to do as you're told? Don't think I saw you for here. Wait for me. Put me this one. What do you want to do? Let me see this one. Uh, uh, come now. No. You get power, have you? Uh -huh. Who will be? You want to fight? Come now. Come now. now. Come. Come fight. Who will be? Uh, now don't save you. Who will be? 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 I don't like bullies. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I, I, I don't know you. I, I haven't seen you here before. Yeah, I'm Balu. Yeah, I started last week. We need to go now. You're not safe here. Hi, Mom. Good evening. Good evening, Jim. So, um, I want to talk to you about something. Okay. There's this girl in my school, in my class, actually, Adora. I, I really like her, and... But I just, I don't think I'm confident enough to talk to her, so... What would the advice I do? Ken. Ken! You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Yes, um... <clears throat> so, there's this girl in my school. What? Jesus Christ! Ken! A hey girl! You're talking about a girl at 16! What are you doing with a girl at 16? I... Huh? You want to get somebody pregnant? Oh! Ken, you got somebody pregnant. I'm dead. No, no, no. What will I tell your father? I, I want to tell you that I'm doing a project in school with a girl, and um, she told me to ask my mom for. Feminine colors, yes. Feminine colors. So that is it? Yes. And you want to give me a heart attack? Why didn't you say that? You didn't let me finish. Pink, peach, any of those. Go and check. I don't know. Whatever. Just go and look for. Okay, colors. Ah. Yes. I almost had a stroke. Hey girls, uh -uh. what time did you guys leave school? I've been looking for you all. Anyways, guess what? what? I gave a boy my number. <laughs> Wait, but you did? Yes. So nice, those cobwebs need some grooming. Stop it, Dora. Mm. She needs our help, not tease. Anyway, what I'll say is, use a condom. Mm? No, don't. It's more pleasurable that way. Ask Kendra, she'll tell you the same. Kendra, is this true? <laughs> Amaka, you are 16. You're not a baby. Just do you.
Here you go. Thank you. See you soon. You didn't even count it like you usually do. I need. I trust this is complete. It is, but I'll add a little extra for the extra you did today. You did good. Oh, thank you. You are very kind. But I must go now. So what's the hurry? Obi says he's going to be here until Sunday. So why the hurry? I have to be somewhere now. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're taking money from sugar mommy and giving to your girlfriend. Okay. You're yeah, jumping into conclusions again. My own is whatever you're doing, don't let it affect my own. I hear you. Bye for now. What's the hurry though, Daisy? All these teenagers and their hot food. The only thing that you're good at is playing video games and sleeping. You're deceiving yourself, not me. So, what's your story? Mm, there's nothing really much to tell. I live with my dad in Port Harcourt. Um, we moved around a lot. So I came to live with my brother here in Lagos so I can write my final exams. Um, my dad got transferred back to Abuja. Wow, that's pretty nice, bro. I've always wanted to, you know, travel the world and see nice and exciting places. Yeah, it's cool, but then it can also be tiring. Nah, I bet it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, what's your story? Oh, bro, <laughs> nothing as interesting as yours. Um, <clears throat> I bet you heard some of the guys call me repeater. Yeah. Um, my dad works with the Drug Enforcement Agency. Mm. Yeah. He's wow. a tough man, pretty hard to impress. <laughs> I can imagine how tough he must be. Oh, trust me, he is. Like, according to him, I can never do anything right. And I probably think he's right. You don't mean that. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay. So you're telling me you don't know how to walk right? <laughs> how to breathe right? Or even how to sit or eat right? No, no, no. I mean, that's not what I mean. Like, I cannot do anything as expected of me. It's just like I'm the poster child for failure. <laughs> Dude, look, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yes, you repeated a class and you don't have good grades. This doesn't make you a failure. Look, you haven't done anything with your life yet. So you're not allowed to call yourself a failure. See, about school stuff, I got you covered. We study after school. How does that sound? Uh, amazing, thanks. Thanks so much, bro. Yeah. Look, it's more thing now. It's more thing. <laughs> Very good. I need to sort that out. Should I come with? Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I say, all oh, your right say, like, say, I don't know, look, I'm still eating the two arms. The right edge, the right. Yeah, right. Ken, what do you want? Oh, Ken. So, you know my name? What happened to Repeater? See, we don't want any trouble. We, we, we just came here to chill. Oh, guys, hold on. Calm down. I, I haven't even said what I wanted to say. Look, we are not interested in whatever you have to say. Oh, that sucks. Because you're going to stand here and you're going to listen to me. For months, you guys made my life miserable. You beat me. You humiliated me. I'd like to know why. Uh, <laughs> nothing? You have nothing to say. Cool. Um, okay. I think at the very least, I deserve an apology. What? You owe you what? An apology. We should apologize. Guys, shit. Ah, you can't tell me to defend myself every single time. <laughs> please stop. Please stop. Oh, do you remember that sound? Does it look familiar to you? But I kept begging you guys every single time to stop. But you did it. <laughs> 
Apologize! We're, we're sorry! I'm we didn't mean to! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ken, how does that sound? <laughs> Not good enough! Oh. You are going to stand in front of everybody in class and you will apologize and then you will promise to be of good behavior and never disturb anyone ever again! Oh, oh, do it. oh do it! Do it! Great! I'll see you guys in class then. I received information that some of you collect hush money from dealers. You all know my stance against drugs. And they'll be held to pay for the culprit. Abdul's release is a huge loss for us. So we need to be at our best to bring these culprits to justice. I need us to work together to keep these monsters off our streets. I trust that we can work together to make this happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. You're dismissed. So, when was the first military coup in Nigeria? January 15, 1966. Correct. Okay. What is the highest court in Nigeria? Um, Supreme Court. Correct. When was the first general election in Nigeria? Um, that's um, 1959. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Guy, you are ready to kill this test. You see, you're not a failure. All you needed was a little boost. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's what's in Small thing. To me, it's big, man. Like, first, you helped me with the bullies and now my studies. Guy, you are my own personal confidence boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait until you see my confidence boost. Um, what is that? Confidence boost. Um, what is that? Okay. Relax. This is good stuff. Yeah, what is it? You should try it. Um, I, I haven't actually smoked it before. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let me start you on something else then. This my friend. That's what you my friend. Um, what is in it? Try it now. Try it now. Why are you doing like a small boy now? Uh -uh. <laughs> get you let's finish this thing now. Ah. What is this? Okay. Shop shop, let's finish this thing. How can a child be this secretive to his own mother? How? This is not good. Huh. You need to calm down, woman. I can't calm down. I was so beat up somebody. And what's wrong with that? Yes, this has finally decided to stop being weak and face his oppressors head on. What if he killed somebody? Look, I'm going to that school to find out what happened. Hey, you will do no such thing. Why not? You need to stop cuddling this boy. He's not a child. When he was being beaten, you were worried. Now that he has finally decided to do the right thing and fight back, you are still worried. Let him be, woman. If something happened, this is on you. This is on you. Are you worried too much? This is terrible. It's terrible. I'm going to sleep. I think you should do the same. Good night. <laughs> hey.
say so, man. Eh? Yeah, so naughty. I can't even believe it. Monday is a good time. I have time on Monday. I'm very free on Monday, so we can cook up Monday and uh... hold on. I'll call you back. Hi, baby. But sweetheart, with this dress you're wearing, you'll get such few likes on your social media pages. Are you unwell, baby? No, mom. <laughs> I am well. Mom? Yes? Please, with your permission, I would like to have a weekend sleepover at Abigail's house tonight. There are lessons we need to catch up on. I'll stay at hers throughout the weekend and go to school from there on Monday. Then return home at close of school. May I? Please, 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 please. And please. who is Abigail? She's a friend. We are classmates. and She's very intelligent and never misses a class. We formed a reading group and planned a sleepover so we can read together and prepare for a test on Monday. I like what I'm hearing. That's amazing. Ah, uh, so should I have the driver take you? No, no, it's fine. Actually, she should be here any minute. She has a car. What? She has a car. Your age mate has a car. He's coming to my house to pick you. This is, if I, you see, this is why, this is why I, I fall out with your father all the time. And everybody will think it's always my fault. How can my own daughter have an age mate who drives a car who's coming to pick her up from my house? And I told your father that we should get you a car for your birthday and he vehemently refused. Did, can you imagine how embarrassing this is? Imagine if anybody was visiting, what would my friend say? It's she's, okay. she's coming here to pick you up. It's okay, Come mom. It's okay. I don't feel bad at all. I feel bad. I can wait till my 18th. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what I did to deserve such an upright daughter. I'm so lucky and so proud to have you as my child. And I'm proud to be your daughter too. <laughs> May I? Sure, sure. So I'll see you at close of school on Monday. Now that I say that, your father? going to throw a fit, but uh, I can handle him. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. You're the best. Right, darling, love you. Love you too. So what next? We go to my place and you get changed. Then I'll drop you off. Thank you, Abigail. I owe you one. My pleasure. What are friends for? Do you have the change of clothing? Sure thing. I'm sure. My mom. Way to go, girl. Your time of freedom is finally here. Go get him. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie girl. I can't wait to meet my David. This Dave guy, isn't he the same Papa boy you've told of many times before? Yes, so it's him. But he is not a Papa like we thought. He really? is no dead. Apparently, he's one of those students who like to be on the down low. And what about his mother and that dead car she uses to drop him? She's in fact the reason for their poor outlook. Wow. She taught him how to act poor, keep it low and simple. She's in a court battle with his father and doesn't want anyone to think she has money so she can get his father to keep paying child support in millions. Oh, I see. That makes sense then. I thought so too, until he told me his story. All right then, good luck and have fun. I sure will. Ooh. Hmm. Nice crib you have here. Thank you very much. Just managing it for now. I'm so happy you came. At some point, I panicked that you stand me up. Why would you think that? I like you as much as you like me. That's good to hear. Whew, look, I made us some drinks. I wrapped up some smokes. I'm gonna do this. Wow. Right? Yeah. And even cooked the meal. Seriously? Yes. Anything for my baby. Okay. We are going to whole nine years tonight. Are you ready? Of course I am. Isn't that why I'm here? So, would you like to dance? Sure, why not? Great. I'm 
just in make you smile, oh. Uh, baby girl, you pretty, no be lie. And now your love is the ginger way to make me feel alright, oh. Yeah. Oh, what a blessing in disguise, oh my God, oh. Me and no sin, I go to send you come. To show me love where you never see before, 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 yeah. I could do anything for you, baby. Yeah. You shine bright like the money sun, yeah. Baby, who you are one in a million, girl. You say you love me, and I love you too. Yeah. I love you, place no one above you. Oh, yeah. You are my one in a million, girl. One in a million, girl. And now you they make me feel alright. Them they come and eyes us. Them no no say no. Them they organize us. Aye. They like me. Them they cut the us. Them no no say them they elevate us. This love is real. I can feel it deep inside of me. Yeah. Very soon we go go to the. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? I'm okay. Welcome, darling. How's your day? Yeah, I'm good. And yours? Both fine. Oh, why I hate you? I mean, Namaka is not in her room. What happened? Yeah, she she went for a sleepover. Sleepover? Without my permission? She she asked my permission and I gave it. Is my own permission not permission enough? Ah, oh, see. Let the girl leave a little. Kids these days do these things, you know. Get with the times, husband. Come on, get with the times. Ah. <laughs> Get with the times. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll get with the times. <laughs> no problem. I'll get with the times. <clears throat> it's your call. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's why you're my darling husband. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I should get with the times and I'm getting with the times. Oh. I had a really long day. I'm just waiting for you to come in before I sleep under the couch. Ah, great, great, darling. <laughs> now that you've seen me. So, you can go to sleep? <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, is there any other thing you want? Of course, you know what I want, what's all that? Ah, but well, you said I should get with the times, though. You should. Sure? I'm getting with the times, though. Uh. All right, I'm off, to, I'm off to sleep, darling. Good night. Yeah. All right. So, before you go up to sleep. Ah, you see why I love you? Yeah, get with the times. My amazing <laughs> <husband>. <laughs> Oh, my darling wife. <laughs> Had a good time. Me too. Let me just confirm that she's okay, all right? Oh, my darling. Yeah. Night. Yeah, yeah good night. Time. Have a nice night. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Amaka. Where are you? I'm at a friend's place, Dad. We're having a group study. I told Mom about it. I was trying to reach you, but your phone was busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was inundated with a lot of calls today. Okay. Um, this study, how, how long will it take? Um, in, um, in about an hour or so. If you want me to return, I'll come back. But this is really helping me, Dad. I have learnt a lot today. No, 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 it's all right, it's okay. Okay, uh, go on. Um, just take care of yourself, okay? And uh, I'll be sure to come back early tomorrow, okay? All right, good night, Dad. Good night. Well, thank God she's okay. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Today in mathematics, we'll be taking brain teasers. I'll ask you questions, and I can call any one of you to answer.
So who can tell me what the square of 1.5 is? Wow. Pretty impressive. So many hands up. Ken. Sir? Sir, sorry, sir. Are you here with us? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. <clears throat> can you tell us what the square of 1.5 is? Um, what? Um, the, the square of 1.5 is 2.2.25. Pardon? Um, <clears throat> sorry, um, 2.25. 2.25, correct. That's very good. Everyone clap for Ken. Boo! I hope I didn't scare you. No, not at all. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm great. I got some snacks. Do you want some? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I see you've been studying. You did good in class. Oh, trust me. Even me, I shocked myself. Don't forget, I'm always here if there's anything you don't understand, yeah? Your new friend is coming. Oh, um, Balu. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Does that mean you're leaving? Yes, I have to get to the library. Oh, um... <clears throat> Hey, what's up? <laughs> Sorry. Balu, meet Adora. Adora, Balu. Hello. Hi, Adora. Nice to meet you. Same here. I was just leaving. So, um, I'll see you in class. Yeah, bye. Okay, bye. You should ask her out. Um, who? You know who. <laughs> really, you should. She's a beautiful girl, and any girl will be lucky to have her. Oh my god. <laughs> See, see, see. She's a very beautiful girl, and any guy will be lucky enough to have a guy. Shoot your shot, guy! Think about it. Mm. So, try the snacks box around you. I need some snacks. Okay, let me take it to one. Okay, let's go, 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 let's go. Amaka, David, hands to your side. Don't do that again. Okay, yeah. Come over now. Yeah. I'll see you later. Love you to the moon and back. Okay, babe. Love you too. Yeah. Bye. I can see love is shocking to you too. I go love. Oh, love bird. Oh, my baby girl is blushing. I'm so happy for you. Someone has tasted mm. the sweet fruits of the penile. I knew it. This is your voice. Oh, my God. Go, Amy. Go, Amy. Go, go, go. Go, Amy. Go, Amy. This is your voice. What do you want? I said, what do you want? You need to make an effort to see your son. Why? He isn't truly my son, is he? But he doesn't have to know that. Please do this for me. No, I will not do it. You don't deserve any assistance from me. Please, David is not himself. He has left home for weeks now. And I can feel he's in a bad company. 
I think he misses a father figure. He may listen to you, please. Like I said before, I will not. And I don't want to see you near this house again. Go get his father to cater for him and tame him. How can a man long dead tame him? Eh? Be considerate now. Oh, his father is dead. Were you considerate when you transferred another man's pregnancy to me? Were you? Listen, get out of my house because you will not like what I will do to you. I will leave. But before I do, I need you to hear me out. I know you think I was aware that I was carrying another man's child while with you. But I swear I did not know. In one of my work trips to Bayelsa, I ran into David's father. And one thing led to the other. He forced me to lay with me. I was too ashamed and afraid to tell you. It just happened. Yes, it just happened. He was caressing you, romancing you, and you fell for him? I'm and you sorry. forgot all we shared together? I'm sorry. Hold it there. You can't be sorry. Listen, I have something doing inside. And by the time I go in, I come out, I don't want to see your figure near this house. And please, do not come back to this house again. Sorry, I will talk to Dad, okay? This is too much now. This is... This is... Oh, I know, and I will talk to Dad. I'm sorry. Okay, take care of yourself. Um, that's the test question on the board. Um, on the top of your answer sheet, write your name, write the subject, and make sure you copy the question. List and explain the functions of any seven cell organelles. Your time starts um, now. And please, no cheating. Your name? It's a test, not a discussion. Mind your work there. Face your work. You have five more minutes. Tidy up your walk. Okay, thank you. See you next class. Yes. Stop. 
Please don't organize myself. My friend, sit down and write your test. Hey, can I please focus on your work? Thank you. I warned you earlier, didn't I? Get up. You. Sir. Off. Now. Sit over there. I don't know now? what to write, you submit. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's Young a man. good one, impressive. Wow. Um, okay, your time is up. Stop writing and submit. Stop writing and submit. If you write anything else, I will penalize you. Thank you very much. You heard your teacher. Come on, move it, move it. Thank you. Guys, 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 read up, read up. I have an important announcement to make. Don't worry, to be quick. Our very notorious boys, Nedu, Peter, and Ade, have something very important to share with us today. So please, have the floor. We are here to apologize to everyone who have ever wronged in any way. We know, we know we did a lot of unforgivable things to you. And we are here to ask for your forgiveness and to promise that it, it will never happen again. We have realized how wrong and how cruel we were. It, it was not right. Please. We are asking you guys to forgive us. Ooh. Get out of here, girl, my side. Yeah, seriously. With all my years of school, school has never ever been this exciting. <laughs> that was to teach him a lesson. Yeah. That man is still like still like him. Yeah. No, I can't come in now. Which one? Which one? Which one? You give want me, this one? Yeah. You just have to. Ah, damn. Can you like that? Let me know what you think I'm doing. So that always they keep this kind. I know you understand because. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. Ken, Balo, how are you guys? Fine, fine sir. Thank you, sir. Hope you're fine. Yes, yes sir. sir. That's good. Oh, Ken, and for you, you are improving. I'm impressed with your scores. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your scores are really, really improving. Keep it up. Yes, sir. yes, sir. If you continue at this rate, I'm very sure you come out good in your final exams. I mean, your WAEC. Yes, yes sir. sir. So make sure you keep studying. Yes, sir. So sir. Keep it up. Thank See you, guys sir. Later. Yes, sir. Yeah, this man of us, Abisha. No, I beg. I like him. I like him. He's, he's a good man. How far? Maybe kill him. Kill him, of course. Yeah. <laughs> 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 guy, you want trouble? Guy, 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 how far your mama now? Are you how far your mama? Are you <laughs> Yeah, 
see you tomorrow. Come, let me introduce you to my mom. Hey, hey baby. mom! How are you? How was school today? It was good. <laughs> mom. Yes? Meet my classmates, Dave. Who? <laughs> Never mind. Next time. Let's go. Ah, I'm sure you're glad to see me. Yes, I am. Another driver to pick you up. Yes. <laughs> I'm a David. That math class here. Bless I go feel like, you know, it's too hard. You don't pass before. <laughs> <laughs> see you. E and F, what if it's the difference? I go see man, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shall so we get assignment? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't fancy that one. I beg. Ah, you will be king of assignment. King of waiting. <laughs> I beg, only why me? Guy, trouble in paradise. <laughs> More like hello, guy. What happened? Guess who our mother is? Who? This is Johnson's friend, Mr. Yeah, Kerry. Okay, I can't do. I can't. It's over. It's over. David not speaking. Pick now. wrong with him? Honestly, I don't know. He's been acting weird. He's not even taking my calls. I don't know if I did anything wrong or... I don't know. I'm just so confused. Good day, sir. Yeah, how are you? Can you imagine? Uh, did anything happen? No. I'm so confused. Please, just let him be. He's such a loser. I don't know what the problem is, Amaka, but you need to step up and quit acting mm. like a loser. Yes. He dumped you, and so what? Look, your actions are making us look bad. So chin up and pretty up. Okay? Yes, Amaka. You can't continue running after him like you're twins or something. Mm -hmm. The guy is definitely up to no good. He is. Look, just move on with your life and carry on as though nothing happened. True that, Abigail. Mm -hmm. I mean, you will lose your worth and self-esteem if you continue this way. There are so many guys out there. So what's with this David guy that you're so bent on disgracing yourself over? Come on, Bing. Oh, please. Uh, be nice. He was her first. So? And so? That's neither a curse or a crime. He was her first and that's all there is to it. No tie backs, no fireworks. It's not a big deal. Just move on and dump him. If not, it will go on the record that he dumped you first. That's is that what true. you want? That's actually true. That's right, sisters. You have all spoken well indeed. Mm-hmm. We have. I believe Amaka has heard all had to say. She yes. And we'll do as expected of her. Huh? Have, Have you? you? Yes, I hear you. But I don't understand. No. He's playing hot and cold. He was cold to me earlier and then he helped me during the test. So? I'm just confused. Oh, please, Amaka. Don't embarrass us. And don't make us regret including you to this group. Have you heard me? Have you? Yes, I will. <laughs> Calm down, John. Mm -hmm. I 
Madame, why are you back this early? As my madam, I am greeting you now. Please keep your greetings to yourself. I just want to know if you are okay or... What is wrong with all of you in this house? Please leave me be! Leave me alone! This gay body they work like this. Huh? Do you want me to prepare something for you? Shut up! Hey! Shut up. Um, come in. Hi. What do you want, Phil? Do you want to play a game? Um, Roblox? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm busy, not now. Okay, when? Are you deaf? I said I'm busy now, uh -uh. Sorry, I didn't mean Get out. Phil, get out! Yes, coming. Good evening, man. Good evening, Ken. How are you? Um, what, what, what's that on your nose? Go on, use that thing on your nose. Sorry, sir. Um, <clears throat> sir, can I get some money, please? It's not even the end of the month. What do you need money for? It's Balu. He just called me. He, he needs money for some stuff. Some stuff like... Me medical supplies. He just called me now and he's crying. Oh. Poor boy. Um, okay. Take some money from that drawer. Okay. How much is that? You can take 5,000. I'll give it to you first thing tomorrow morning. That's, that's, that's right. They take the beef. I they suspect something, no? Eh? You know when small picking on they do spree spree, time don't reach to check out. I beg your pardon. Check what? Check waiting. My only daughter. Check her for what? Ma, she they do like say she. Will you shut up your smelly mouth before I chop it off for you? What gives you the nerve to discuss my daughter so freely? Has madness located you? Madam, no vex. I no go talk am again. Get out of my room! What is nonsense? Good morning, Mom. Mom? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, can you give me some money, please? 
What for, Ken? I thought your father gave you money last week. Yeah, but I, I gave some of it to um, Balu and I spent the rest. Sweetie, you're asking for money too much these days. I know, but I may need to hang out with my friend and you know I don't need money for that. Okay, fine. I'll give you some money. But manage it too. I don't have a lot to give to you. I will. Oh. I will. Alright, breakfast is soon ready. Okay? Thank you, Mom. Alright. Guy, we think we put for that new mixture yeah, now. I taste this one here. <laughs> <laughs> with you, David. I've been trying to reach you. I'm sorry, baby. I went out with Robin and kept busy all weekend. So you've been partying all weekend while I was left to carry the burden of discovering that I'm pregnant alone? Yeah, she's pregnant. Shh, she will you. Did you hear something? Eh? You are pregnant. Isn't that what I said the first time? David! Where are you going? David! David, listen! Ah. Oh. This was brought about by two of us, so we must sort it out together. It's nothing to worry about. You can handle it. Handle what? Excuse me, I'll be right back. David, where are you going? I'll be right back. Excuse me. David! Please, help me talk to your friend. He's been avoiding me. Looks like you've been played girlfriend. We have work to do. Please, can you just call him on the phone and I'll meet you someplace else? <laughs> this is not happening. Tell me it's a prank, hmm? Please, I am pregnant. Please, Hey, yeah, when the both of you were enjoying yourselves in my house, Abby, you didn't know. Whose house? My house, of course. Sorry, just go. Please go find him. Sorry. Just go find him. Thank you. You should not introduce this guy to this life. I hope I won't help the guy now. See, let's just hope she's the type that will abort it though. Yes, now what else can she do? I don't tell you, Sha. I can't believe I fell for all the lies. I feel like a fool. Please help me. My parents will kill me if they find out. How can you be so careless? Whatever happened to condoms? I didn't know what I was doing. I was too high to think straight. <laughs> Kendra, don't be too hard on her. You know how these things go. And besides, most boys don't like to use condoms. They prefer skin to skin. I don't care what they prefer. How about what you prefer? <sighs> anyway, make sure you fix this yourself. Your pregnancy has nothing to do with the sisterhood. If anything, it will make us look bad should any of this get out. So please, handle your personal problem personally. Kendra, are you serious? Yes, indeed, I am. <laughs> please, Kendra. <laughs> I don't know what to do or where to go. Not my problem. You brought this upon yourself. <laughs> Beams, Dora, why are you not saying anything? You encouraged me to do this. We did. We did. <laughs> Please, tell us how. Did we hold your legs apart while he had you? Or were we there when you were screaming with pleasure? How dare you try to blame us for your misfortune? <laughs> Amaka, stop fooling around and go face your troubles. Hey. God, someone please help me, please, 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 please. Never mind, Amaka. I'll take you someplace. <sighs> this should serve as a warning to all. Never ever let your guard down because these so-called boyfriends of yours will abandon you should anything go wrong, be it pregnancy or drug overdose. True. So girls, where were we? We were taking selfies. Mm -hmm. Good. Your phone on my phone? <laughs>
Good evening, Dad. Good evening, Ken. Um, so I need some money. What do you mean you need some money? What have you been spending your money on? I had stuff to take care of. What stuff? Do you have a wife and child? Do you pay bills? What responsibility does a 16-year-old have? Tell me. Dad, I don't think there's anything wrong with me asking for an increase in my allowance. I'm a grown man. Oh, I can see you started growing wings. Listen to yourself ask for an increase. A few months ago, you couldn't even look me in the eye. Now you can talk back at me. I'm a grown man. Your mates are already making a living for themselves and you're here demanding an increase in allowance. Did you say something? No, sir. Well, I do not have any money for you at this time. You have to wait till the end of the month. Did I not tell you to remove that nose ring? Ken! Hey, come back here, young man. Where have you been? I went out. You went out? Yes, sir. And what did you take out of here before you left? Take? How? You know, I've noticed for a while now that you have become a different person. Yes, your grades have changed. But it's your personality I'm talking about. You have become a different person. And what is wrong with that? You hated who I was before and now I have changed and you're still not happy. I'm going to pretend you didn't just speak to me in that tone. Ken, what is wrong with you? Where, where did we go wrong with you? Did you take your sister's money? Answer me! I borrowed it. I was going to put it back. How could you do that, Ken? Is there anything you have asked for that you have not gotten? 
Even when your grades were poor, I never denied you anything. Why did you take your sister's money? It was an emergency. What emergency was that? Well, if you had increased my allowance like I asked, we wouldn't be here, would we? Why would you slap me? What am I saying that is wrong that you're slapping me for? What? Ken, have you lost your mind? What is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just sick and tired of all of you treating me like, like I'm nothing, like, like I'm a failure. Because I know I'm not. I'm going to prove it to you all. My goodness. What has come over him? He walks out on me again. Oh my goodness, that's not my son. What's happening to Ken? Ken, where do you think you're going? Where are you going? I hope you know what you're, what you're doing, young man. Ken! Hey, hey. Ken, come on. Leave him. He'll come back. Hey, just leave him. I said leave him. What is happening? Who is there? It's Ken. Is that, can I stay here for a bit? Uh, sure, small thing. You're free to stay as long as you want. What happened now? See, my dad is just the worst, man. You don't believe that dude just. <laughs> you know what? It's a long story. There's no need. Just, Ale, just give me something to my be refresh oh. myself. Eh? Gosh. Mm. So how far, how far that level now? He's supposed to give me something. Guy, thank you so much for letting me stay here, man. I'm tired of that house. That was on tire me. Guy, talk now. Done. As you can see, I can't complain. How are you? How is everyone? How the kids? How's business? My darling, as you can see, we're very fine by God's grace. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what can I offer you? My usual. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kemi, you know what that is? Yes. Ma Please go get it. Hurry up. Quick. My dear, I've come to chill. I'm so stressed. So tired of the stress at work. Hey, maybe we can even chill more at the joint. I've already booked an OB. <laughs> ah, aren't you lucky? Maybe you need to find me another small you. My David hasn't been taking my calls. And I don't know. And you know, I've got a little time on my hands. My husband won't be back today until God knows when. Hmm. Oh, baby. I know. <laughs> That won't be a problem. I trust you now. I got you back. I got you back. <laughs> oh my god, this makes me happy. <laughs> Guys, this girl won't just stop calling me. Why? She wants you to handle your business, bro. But I can't. I'm scared. What if something goes wrong? You should have thought of that before getting her pregnant. If you know what's good for you, just lay low for a while, guy. How? Where? Go home now. I give my poor mother a heart attack. No. Okay, okay, this is what we'll do. We'll talk to Mama Johnson. Maybe you can stay at her place for now. Abby? <laughs> I bet she'll be happy to have you over no. as a continuous call. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good idea. Hey, guy, you need to change your SIM card and stay off school for now. Got it. Oh my, my mom again. Oh my god, my mama is disturbed. <laughs> Guy, this is what it feels like to be free. I mean, nobody breathing down my neck, nobody making my life miserable. 
Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, see, I feel so confident right now. Like, I can actually just walk up to Adora and toast her right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. See, guy, I'm going to give you a few pointers. That's what I'm talking about, guy. You are the best, <laughs> best, best, best friend anybody can ask for. Can man. I mean, um... Yeah, cheers, 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 <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> ah. So, um, do you think I can invite her over? Sure, sure, why not? But don't forget, you're going to need money for drinks and stuff. To entertain her now. Yeah, yeah, um, Good. I'm just running low on phones right now. Ah! <laughs> Ken, don't fall your hand, though. Babes are expensive and they demand stuff from guys. So, you better be ready. I think I have an idea. Mm, tell me about it now. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> guy, 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 guy. That was a genius plan. Yes. I wasn't sure it was going to work. Guy, guy. you need to see. I have to wait for my mom to step out. Then I just. <laughs> guy, guy, you're a genius. You are a genius. <laughs> Where have you been all that love guy, now? Right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now, now that we have the cash, now mm -hmm. let's go and get the stuff. Right. Okay. Can, can how do I find you? Where do I find you again? Where do I find you? <laughs> I just hope so. I just hope so. Okay. <laughs> this hurts so much. Where is my boy? I should calm down. I can't calm down, Fred. Please go look for our son. Get my son back home. He chose to walk away. Why should I be the one go looking for him? Oh, maybe because you're his father. 
Oh, and you are his mother. So go find him. He stole from us, remember? And he had the guts to talk back at me. You were there. Did you see or hear me tell him to leave? He left on his own, so he will come back when he wishes to. Fred, this is your fault. This is your fault, Fred. You keep giving excuses. I'm tired of all these excuses. Get my son back. Find my son for me. I don't even know why you're bothering yourself. The young man is probably happy where he is. He's not a man. He's just a boy. Get him home. He's just a teenager. Get my son back for me, Fred. Look, if anything happens to my boy, I would never forgive you. Never. We're not done talking. I am. Good night. What is this? <laughs> I want my son back. <laughs> Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um, my wife isn't back yet. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, how is Junior? Uh, Junior is sleeping, sir. Okay, and Amaka? Yeah. Amaka is not back yet, sir. What happened? I don't know, sir. Maybe she went for another sleepover. Another sleepover? Uh, and I am not aware? On a weekday? And nobody told me? I, I wasn't informed? Keji, I want you right back now. I want you to come back home now. I said now. Nonsense. What kind of sleepover is that? She writes in Cambridge. Last night, he won't take my calls and he won't even return them. I wonder why you're worried about him. And why are you not? This is our son, not another person's son. The same one who stole or chose to walk out of his home? Okay, what if he's hurt or troubled, something? I'm pretty sure he's fine. There's nothing in the news about a dead boy. Dead? Who would even think that about our son? Fred, please, I beg you, send one of your boys to go look for him, please. Sweetheart. I work with the Drug Enforcement Agency, not the police. Fred, you have friends. Send them to send somebody. I mean, let him look for my boy. Why are you so nonchalant about your missing I son? I will do no such thing. When he gets tired, he will come home and explain to me what gave him the courage to do the despicable things that he did. And he definitely will be punished for them all. Fred, listen to yourself. This is our son. This is your son. Well, if I do find him, like you ask, I will have him arrested and locked up for his crime. I will not stand by and watch my child turn into a criminal. Well, he better be okay for your sake. Because if I don't find my son, I won't give you peace in this house. Hey, woman, looks like you won't let me go to work in peace. Fred, you heard me. You heard me. You heard me. You have friends. Get them to look for my boy. I don't care what it takes. Hi, Adora. Hello. Um, can I sit? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> why are you still here? My mom. She's going to be here soon, though. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so there is something I'd like to tell you. Okay, what's that? <laughs> Let me start by saying thank you for being such an amazing friend. Um, everybody in class can be douches at times, but I always know you're in my corner. And I mean, it makes me want to know you more and like spend more time with you. It's fine. So if you don't mind, I was wondering if you'd like to spend time with me at Balo's place. I'd love to. 
cool. Um, does tomorrow work for you? Mm, tomorrow, yes, it's fine. Okay, just text me what time works for you. I'm, I'm there all day. Okay, sure. Okay, take care of yourself. Alright, bye. Yeah, bye. Madam, where's my daughter? I said, where's my daughter? Please, be calm, Mr. Okay. Don't tell me to be calm. Where is Abigail? We will get to the bottom of this and we will help you find Where her. is Abigail? She's the one my daughter spent the last weekend sleep over with. Where is she? Madam, please stop crying. We will find your daughter. Nothing has happened to her. Oh, nothing has happened to my daughter? So, but why is her phone switched off? Mr. Okere, I have no idea. But I assure you we will get to the bottom of this mystery. The lady Abigail, your wife just made reference to, is being brought to this office right now and soon this will be resolved. Please be patient. Madam, you had better make that very fast. You hear me? Fast! Because my patience is running thin. Absolutely thin. For goodness sake, a girl that was enrolled in your school, I mean I enrolled her in your school, who is supposed to be under your care, goes, goes missing for two whole days. And you have no clue? No single clue? Oh, for goodness sake. Look, look, by the time I finish, and I'm going to bring a lawsuit on you, and by the time I bring that, you will never, ever recover from it. I, 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 I tell you. Look, you better start looking for my daughter now. Look for my daughter now! Oh, great. This is our chief security officer, Mr. Sam, and this is Abigail. Your daughter's friend. Abigail, where's my daughter? Please, let's observe protocol. May we see? Oh, oh please, 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 Madam Principal, please. Don't get me infuriated any further. Go ahead, ask your question. Abigail, do you know Amaka Okiri? Yes, I do. And are you aware of her recent absence in school? Yes, I am. Is it true she spent the weekend with you some few weeks back? Yes, yes, she did. Is she at your house right now? No. No, she's not. Do you have an idea where she might be? Abigail, look at me. If you know something and you do not tell us, you will be in big trouble, so I'll ask you again. Do you have an idea where your friend Amaka Okere might be? Where is my daughter Abigail? Where is she? Yes, I do. So where is it? Where? Can we go there? your shorts. So now, answer the door and go out for my guy. Hi, Adora. Oh. Um, <clears throat> you're here. Sorry, would you like anything to drink? Yes, non-alcoholic, please. Okay, got it. Hi. Hello, Balu. Hi, Jane. I'm good. So, I hope you're having a good time. Yes, well, I just got here. Oh, okay, okay. Let me leave you two long words alone. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm so happy you came. I'm happy I came too. You know, I've always liked you, but I thought you didn't notice. And when Balu came along, I thought I had lost you to him, and now... 
now. Ada, are you okay? I don't know. I feel so funny. I think I'm sleepy, but ah, oh. can you please hold me? Oh, I see what you're doing. What? I'm not doing anything. Okay. Uh. Ada. Uh, are, are you okay? Uh. Ah, Ada. Balo. Balo. <coughs> Ada. Oh, what happened? Ada. I, I don't know, we're just talking and she said she, she was feeling sleepy and she was feeling funny. I, I, I don't get this. Oh no, I, I think she might be reacting to the drugs. What drugs? I, I, I spiked all the drinks in the house. I, I wanted you both to relax and have a good time. You did what? I, yes, just, 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 do something, just do something. Oh my god. I, I, I don't agree with me. I, I, I don't agree with you. Anna. Done. Ah. Me. Me. So you want to blame me now for wanting to help you? Great. Great. You know what? Ken. Ken. Take her out and get out. What? You heard me, Ken. Take her out and get out. Hello. Ken. Take your girlfriend out of my house. Get out before I call my brother on you. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Um, I, I agree. I agree. Let's 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 take out the just and leave her there. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, grab her, grab her, grab her. Let's grab her, let's grab her. Let's grab her. I'm so sorry. Come on, <laughs> you don't already show. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Where is David? I, I, I don't know where David is. I, Move! Show! 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 Where is David? Are you alright? So this is what both of you have been up to. Ah, sir, no, no, sir. We have never seen this thing before in our no, lives, sir. Huh? No, sir. Mixing and selling drugs. No, sir. We never mix drugs. So this is where your knowledge of science has taken you to, science students. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Your mates are out there, learning and creating formulas on how to help humanity. But no, not you. You sit down and want to kill people. Ah, sir. We've never killed anybody. No, we've never killed anybody no, in our life. No. No, sir. So what do you think the end effect of all this is? Huh? Or you don't know that drug is an illegal matter which some people eat, mm -hmm. drink, mm -hmm. smoke, inject mm -hmm. all for the physical and mental effect it leaves on them? We know, sir. Or is it like you don't know that most students who consume these drugs for fun or for various other reasons end up getting addicted and dying of an overdose? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, but, sir, no, sir. Or is it the fact that those of you who deal on selling these drugs Create a network which mainly targets students, all in the bid to get them addicted to these same drugs. Don't sell drugs. I've never sold drugs before. Abi, is it poverty that compelled the two of you to become a part of selling and dealing network of drugs to derive their pocket monies? Or is it just sheer wickedness? I don't understand. Wait, 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 wait. So, in order to make easy money, you kill. Uh, get people addicted and mad. Uh, we know, we know. We know their intelligence level decreases. You don't? We don't, we know, sir. We, we know, sir. But it's not You don't know that some students experience mental disorder? Their intelligence level decreases. Some experience deadly diseases and untimely death. You, 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 Shion, you don't know that drugs can destroy a complete generation. You know, sir. Shion, you know, you know. Hey, friend, shut up! What rubbish? Look, you both need to think wise and act smart. You need to shape your future, which looks bright and full of achievement. Yes, sir. Remember, our country needs you. You are its future, whether you like it or not. Yes, sir. But with this, this lifestyle of yours, you'll never achieve anything. 
now on, sir. It's now on, sir. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I'll deal with this later with the principal. Ah, yes, sir, please don't hey! tell me. Now, you will tell us where David is. Yes, we'll tell yes, you, sir. We'll tell you. Right down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please don't tell the principal, sir. Move. Please, sir. Please, sir. please. Move. Please, sir. We've never seen this thing before, sir. Move. Don't tell the principal, sir. Please move. Move. the gentlemen with you? This is our chief security officer and this is our supervisor. Okay, gentlemen, you're welcome. How may I help you? Madam, do you realize these are teenagers you're frolicking with? Excuse me. They are minors and therefore you're breaking the law. Which law? No, tell me. What stupid law are you talking about? Is it the same Nigerian law that once named age 11? as the legal age of compliance. No, tell me. Arita, ah, ah, don't talk like that now. You just end up complicating issues. See, we are not doing anything with these boys, so they are just here to help us. Mm. Help you with what exactly? Mm -hmm. Washing of the dishes. Uh, actually, you know, sometimes they help us around the house, you know. Um, officer, listen. That's not the reason you're here, right? We need to speak to you in private. You know, we can sort this out here and now. There will be no side talks on this matter. This will all be resolved as soon as David is cleared of his involvement in an attempted murder case. Eh, and what has that got to do with us? Well, you two are hiding him, so what do you think? You ladies may need to give statements and clear your names. No, no, clear what? Clear what exactly? Did you see us committing crime? Do you know what these boys are here doing? Madam, eh? there is no point in you shouting. We all know what goes on in settings like this. Sure. But don't you know that these boys are minors? Mm. You both are committing a crime if you don't know. Eh? Yes. So, it is not a crime when older men marry 14-year-old girls, even 12, 10, less. Now that it is our turn, it has become a crime, right? Gentlemen, just get yourselves out of this place before you get yourselves roped into something you can't get out of. What the heck? What do you mean? Uh uh. I be crunchy on the ego. Eh? I'm Lori Bruku Arayi. Foolish people. It's okay. Imagine. Down, uh uh. The way you're going about this thing, you complicate matters. Oh. Complicate what? Let it be complicated. Who cares? Do they know who I am? Eh? What? What? What you are concerned on for this kind of matter? I be on a main road. Madam, where is the boy? If you want him, he will come down. Just get out of my house. David, where are you? David! Where is this boy? Come down here! David! Imagine the rubbish. Person in the house, trouble will come with her. What in logs you not going to see for express from her hand? He's here. Please, what is going on? Eh, hey, answer him. Obi. Shion. Amaka is unconscious. She had an abortion. Please. 
Please, Mom, please. Hey! God! God, why have you allowed this to happen Mama, to please. me? Please, please. Oh. I beg you, I'm sorry. Baby, please. you're disgusting. Please. Mom, please, I beg you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. I hope you have learned your lesson, Amaka. I mean, it could have been worse. Thank God the intervention came early. But you could have lost your life. You could have even lost your womb, for goodness sake. So, from today, you'll be upright. And be the God-fearing girl that we brought you up to be. I mean, it's obvious that we... <laughs> let you free too soon and I allowed you to go unmonitored. But trust me, we will pick off from where we left off. So starting from this minute, there will be no more sleepovers. You will not engage in any form of relationship with anybody that we do not know. No more social groups association. And even your social media account will have to be monitored. So, I will need the passwords to all your social media accounts by the morning. Try anything funny. Just try anything funny. And you will lose all of those accounts. Even your dressing. Your dressing must reflect who you are. And the daughter of whom you are. No more excuses. You will also have to attend all church activities during the week. And all your reading must be done in this house. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Daddy. Do you Daddy. understand me? Yes, Daddy. I'm so sorry and ashamed of myself. Please forgive me. Pastors. What? What? what you, you want to oppose me? Like you always do, eh? Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oppose me. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. I just wanted to say that everything you have said is indeed correct. All you have said is true. Amaka. There's no need to hurry. Hmm? You have a long way ahead of you to experience all the things you want to experience. You hear me? Put your head down, concentrate on your studies. Do not let the flashy things of life fool you. They are all distractions. And don't listen to the naysayings of those who flung their evil deeds. Just be the best teenager any parents would ask for. You know we love you, don't you? I love you too, uh, Mom. Dad. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my rescue. It is well. It will be well. Hmm? Take your rest now. Put your hand like this. One, two, three, put your three, hand where now. Like that. Where, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you do this. Ken! Ken, where have you been? You were so worried. Oh my god. My son is home. Spread. Spread. Ken, where have you been? How are you? Sweetie, you're looking so pure. I'm so tired, mom. Can I please go to bed? Okay. Okay, fine. Go to bed. Not so fast. Not so fast. Um, sweetie, please. He said he's tired. Let him go to bed, please. Go so he just came back just like that? Yes. Did he say anything? Not yet.
What is this nonsense over here? I know. Please. Our son is home. That's what matters. So let's just let's just let this go for now, please. Please, please. Don't please don't. Fred, please. Alright? Remember he has exams. Alright? Let's let's not drive him away again, please. How can he just come and go as he pleases? In my house. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Let's just let's just let it go for now. Alright? He has exams, please. I'm glad she's much better now. Good. So I will take my leave now. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Omi. Thank you for your, all your support. I really appreciate it. No, sir. It's you I should be thanking for not pressing charges against all involved. As for the boy in question, he will face an expulsion from the school, mm -hmm. along with his flatmates. You would not believe the amount of drugs we found in the apartment. My God. <laughs> Children of these days, what are they looking for? I mean, something that can actually kill. <sighs> it's sad. God help yeah. us. Indeed. Um, please do, do take care of her. I'll keep you updated if any need arise, okay? <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, sir. All right, All right madam. Yeah. Yes. So, we'll just wait for the doctor to come discharge her. Huh? Yeah. And we'll go home. <laughs> the doctor is ready to discharge her. Please come with me. Okay. Shall we? Okay. I'd like to talk to you about something. Okay. Sit down. I'll, I'll understand. Okay. What is it? I, I want to talk about what happened when I was away. I think I might be in trouble. What did you do? I think I hurt someone. What? I think there's someone at the door. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Mr. Elias is here to see you, sir. Mr. Elias. Yeah. Well, send him in. Okay, sir.
Yes. How may I be of help? I am Isai Yazu. And I would like to see Ken Odafe. Well, I am Major Odafe. What is it you want to see my son about? He is to be questioned about an incident that happened a few days ago. Questioned? For what, if I may ask? I may have to report him for attempted murder. What? Attempted murder? Ken, what did you do? I don't know, Mom. What do you mean by you don't know? You don't know? Do you want me to have you arrested before you do? Oh, I see. So this is what all these have been about all the while. Do what you must, Mr. Eliazo. I won't stop you. If he has done the crime, then let him face the consequences. Fred, what are you saying? Mommy, please help me. Come, come over here. Fred, you have to do something. How can you say something like this? Do something. Hmm. Major, you are indeed a man of honor. I didn't expect this coming here. Please, can we have a chat, please? May, may I sit? Oh, sure, sure, please. Sit down. Fred. Oh, hmm? Are you no more my daughter? yourself to get into this big mess. Eh? Now see, see how everything has blown up in your face. Mom, I'm sorry. I was naive to believe that joining a clique will make me feel a bong. I was too foolish to have listened to other things about living a certain way. Now see how my actions have dragged you all along down the path I chose. <laughs> yes. Huh? Because of your burning desire to experience life and the pleasures of the flesh. No. Be guided. This will not happen again. Alright? I'm sorry if I've been a bad mother and sample figure. But starting now, that's going to change. Beginning from that, your friend, Kendra. Mom, what will you do to her? I don't want trouble, though. No, there will be no problems if she cooperates. According to the story you told me, she was the one that led you into all these things. And she will not go scot-free. No way, oh. she's not going scot-free. Um, we were just talking one minute and the next, she, she said she was feeling sleepy and she started acting funny, so we took her to the hospital. Go on. We, we left her at the car park of the hospital. Why didn't you take her inside? Balu said it was the right thing to do, that we would get in trouble if, if, if we took her inside. I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to leave her there. I'm, Sorry she's dead. Who says she is? She's not dead. If she was, I would not be this calm. She was reacting to the drug that was found in her system. It was a good thing the doctors got to her on time. She insists she did not take any other thing apart from the drink you gave to her, which was non-alcoholic. So I, I, I would never do anything to hurt her. It was, it was Balu that spiked her drink. So it was drugs all this time? You and Balu do drugs? No, sir. So, yes, sir. Um, what? He, he introduced me to it. And where is this Balu? I've been calling him since and he's not, he's not picking up my calls. I will need his address. Of course. He will give you, sir. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I, 
I, I really like her and I just wanted to spend time with her. I didn't, I didn't intend to hurt her. I, I hope she's okay. Yes, she's okay. She's resting at home. My wife is devastated to say the least. But we'll get through it. She's your daughter, sir. I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I, I, I promise I will change. It will never happen again, sir. Be sorry. So sorry. God. Again. Yes, Amaka. How can I help? See the ill-mannered person you're friends with. She can't even greet her elder. Excuse me, do I know you? No, you don't, but you soon will. After I bath you with the acid content of this bottle, you will know me very well. A acid? Please, ma, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, ma. Please. Good. Now go and bring that high video, or whatever you call it, and delete the content from source before I pour this over your head. Wait, wait, please, ma. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I see it. See, deleted. I'm sorry, ma. If you like, keep back a copy. If I see the content of that video anywhere home or abroad, you will kiss your chicken face goodbye, idiotic child. Drugs? What a tragedy. This is all your fault. D don't you dare blame me. Don't you? What was wrong in trying to raise a tough son? My father did the same to me. It only made me want to do things better and achieve more. You were just pushing and pushing. You didn't even know when to stop. Don't, don't tell me that. We are trying to make him a man. But you kept cuddling him. Turned him into a weak boy. And, and, and while you're there pointing fingers, why didn't you notice? A stay-at-home wife like yourself. Why didn't you take note? Yet you stand there and blame me for trying to put him straight? Put him straight? Was there a time you were not disappointed in him? Tell me the time you were proud of your son. Oh. Oh yes, I remember. When he beat up another man's child. What kind of father encourages a child to be violent? What kind? Hey, don't, don't try to push this on me. It was your duty as a mother to be there for him. Well, I did all I could. I did all I could to wash off the stains you put on your own son. <laughs> ah! who, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? It was both our duty to raise a good child. But, but we both failed. We need to do better. Is it too late? What if you actually did it? Oh, Dad, you have to believe me. I didn't do it. It's, it's okay, son. We, we believe you. So how are you holding up? You didn't go to school today? I couldn't go. I'm so sorry. I couldn't bring myself to face everybody there. It's okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, 
I'm so sorry. I know I'm a disappointment to you and mom, and I know this is not how you... No, 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 son, no. We are the ones who should be apologizing to you. We should have treated you better. We're so sorry it had to get to this point for me to realize the kind of father I've been to you. I should have been more attentive. And more supportive. It's okay, we just failed your spirit. We're expecting a lot from you. I wouldn't even bother to see the toll it took on you. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh yeah. Yes, hello. Your son's friend, Balo, is nowhere to be found. Well, for now that is. But guess what? The police searched his house and found drugs. Drugs? All these years I have been chasing drug dealers and users. I never thought that my own son would fall victim. Indeed, I have failed where it matters the most. There was no way you could have known. You would be surprised at the number of kids his age who hide things from their parents. You need to forgive yourself and forgive him so that you can be there for him because he needs it. Thank you for your kind words. I, I, I appreciate it. My pleasure. So, what do we do next? Well, you are the one that is familiar with the Nigerian law affair on drug use and possession. We need to do the right thing, Major, and teach these teenagers a lesson or two. I agree. What? You, you agree to what exactly, Fred? Do you know how serious implications are for teenagers with prison records? With such records, they won't be able to find a job when they finally grow up as adults. In fact, there are some professions they will never practice with such record and you agree to that? Madam, would you prefer we sweep this under the carpet and let them go on misbehaving and becoming a menace to the society? What if eventually they start selling these drugs? Or, or what if they, they, they become drug barons and kingpins? Oh, God forbid, look, I promise you, I am going to be committed to directing his path from now henceforth. And what about the boy, Balo? Who is living alone and is as free as a bird? Who will commit to directing his path? Okay, look, sir, I know you're upset. If it happened to me, I'll probably act worse. But I know you're angry because of what he did to your daughter. I'm so sorry. They're just kids. Oh, no. This has nothing to do with my daughter. In fact, I have decided to let this go. But the law is the law. And your husband is sitting at the helm of affairs of drug use. And possession. So, what do we do? Okay, okay, this is what we do. Why don't we just let them go with a warning? You know, or send them off to some correctional institution. I know one around. A friend sent their 12 year old there, and the doctor performed magic. Look, we, we can just help them. They're teenagers. Moreover, it's not as if they're dealing, they, they were just caught in possession. That's all. Just. just. Please, please, woman, don't even complicate this matter by dampening the gravity of this. Dealing and possession are equal in the eyes of the law. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm sorry. I, I just, I just 
I just want you to forgive. They're just teenagers. My son is too young to go to prison. I can't even... He's that too young. We can help them. Daddy, good evening. You know, I have thought about so many things to say to you. But seeing you now, all I can feel is nothing but pity. Pity because it's clear you did not know what you were doing. Because if you knew, you knew! How could you? Eh? How could you sleep with a boy young enough to be your own son? How could you? How? What? Mom! <sighs> All I can say is I'm, I'm sorry. I know I've wronged you, your son, my daughter. My husband. Baby. I'm sorry. Don't you touch me! Don't! I don't want to see you here again! I'm sorry. Before these people leave this house, I want you to get your filthy, stinking, shameless self out of my house! Don't let me meet you here, okay? Get out of my house! It is obvious that your husband is still very, very angry. Just go for now. Maybe when he calms down. He can try again, but for now, just go. Just go before he does something harsh to you. David, don't you have anything to say to our kids? Sorry for neglecting you. I, I panicked. I was scared. So it was stupid of me, and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Amaka, please. Please forgive him in the name of God. Please. 